gentlemen, to the first episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your hosts, George, Gabe, and Link. You're probably wondering who we are and what we're doing here. So we thought we'd take this first episode to introduce ourselves and a little bit about what we're about. So we're going to go ahead and start with... My name is Link. I am 28 years old. I'm a native from Miami, Florida. I, uh, I'm an INFP. I'm also a, an anagram nine. I have no idea what that means. I just took a test and it said I'm a nine. So I assume it means that in a scale from one to 10, my hotness is a nine out of 10. So yes. I'm also a Taurus. So that means I'm a young bull. I like to watch TV and anime. My name is Gabe. I'm 25 years old, also a Miami native. I enjoy playing sports, listening to music, watching movies, TV shows, anime, and playing video games. And my name is George. I am 37 years old. I am an English and drama high school teacher, and my interests include musical theater and professional wrestling. I had this idea for creating this show because I grew up along with these two gentlemen here who are my family, you know, consuming this media, these stories. Um, Gabriel is my nephew. Link is my brother-in-law. And we grew up um, from a very young age together. And we would spend time not just watching and playing and reading, but also discussing the minutia of it. And if you're part of the, you know, any of these fandoms, you know what these conversations are like. But the one thing that we always gravitated towards is the importance of the stories. Now, they're just pastimes. They're, you know, they're hobbies. And they're not too serious. They're fun. But the reality is that the narratives that we interact with shape our philosophy. The morality tales shape the morality choices that we make in our lives. And for those of you who are aware of what the, of what the MacGuffin is, the MacGuffin is that object that drives the narrative, that thing that the characters seek to obtain or to find. And when we look at the MacGuffin, we're really looking at what the driving force for the narrative is. Now, sometimes it's important directly to the story. Sometimes it's just a means to an end. But that's what we're looking to find as we deconstruct some of these stories that we interact with. What is the driving force of the narrative? What is that thing that drives not just the characters in these stories, but us? It's funny what you said about watching your older brother play. Watching your older siblings or like better friends play was like the original Twitch streams. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can honestly, this with this generation watching Twitch, like to me, kind of, doesn't make sense a little bit. But but like it make it just weird because I enjoy watching mm-hmm. my brother play. I don't enjoy watching everyone play. Right, I agree. I think maybe this like the societal aspect. Maybe they feel about those people the way we feel about our friends. Yeah, and family, could be, our yeah. actual human like yeah. in real life. But like I yeah. can watch. It's hard for me to connect. Yeah, like, yeah. I honestly. He okay. So one thing I've noticed is that a lot, a lot of both both of you in the games that you guys picked. A lot of there's a, a lot of the social aspect of it. That's what you guys like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the aspect I don't like about video games. I used to wake up at like five in the morning on Sunday because that's when they used to give Fantastic Four and the Incredible Hulk TV shows, the ones that are like yeah. on Disney Plus now, right? And I used to wake up to watch them like super early Sunday morning, and then one day it wasn't on, and I was heartbroken. I was like, "Where are my superheroes?" But it was episode one of Dragon Ball Z. And I was like, what is this? Why is Goku an adult? Why is Goku an adult? <laughs> yeah. And remember, I only had the first 13 episodes. So I was like, oh my goodness, they made a sequel series to Dragon Ball. And they like f- to fast forwarded, like he's an adult now and he has a son that looks just like him. And it just blew my mind. Then I find out, oh, there's a bunch of years of stuff that we hadn't, you know, we hadn't seen. Yeah. So I started when I said You know, it used to be three episodes for a $20 tape. I did it. I paid them. You know, I was buying like arcs of Dragon Ball. Then I had the International Film Channel 
that would play Dragon Ball Z without subtitles. And I was watching like Cell Saga and like, this is amazing. I don't know what's going on, but this is incredible. I'm crying. Oh, all the sacrifices and deaths that are going on. And, and to me, it was just seeing those characters grow up, you know, in real time almost, you know, growing up with you and kind of seeing yourself reflected in those characters that, and, and, my favorite film is uh, Brawly, the legendary Super oh, Saiyan. Yeah, of course. That's the one. And and now that they have these other movies in theaters, I went to the theater on day one and saw, you know, Resurrection F, you know, Battle of the Gods, and and the remake of Brawly. It's that was terrific. Another thing I want to add is is seeing Pedro Pascal. <laughs> his performance, yes, we don't see his face, but Having, I mean, you see his face though. I mean, eventually you see his face, yeah. But, um, but the majority is in the mask, right? And, but for me, it was a special moment because having, and this also happened to me watching Rogue One with Diego Luna, having a Hispanic, having a Latino actor like be like a lead in a Star Wars yeah. project, that for me was huge. I, seeing Diego Luna and Pedro Pascal, Oscar Isaac as well, yeah. Oscar yeah. Isaac, yeah, like. Those those types of things, and like I love their relationship. Their friendship is awesome. Yeah. But seeing those things, like it really made, um, it really drew me in as well. It was another thing I didn't expect because for a long time I love the characters that we've seen in Star Wars. Yeah. But it it gave me something that I really didn't know that I necessarily wanted, and it from that like the choices the choices that they made with him as a character and his performance have been great so far. And I mean him and him and uh, Grogu. That that last episode, his, ooh, ooh, that last yeah. episode. Oh man! How do you not cry when you watch it's, that last episode? It's beautiful. Yeah, and that's all I'll say about that. Yeah, you, you awesome. cry tears in Star Wars. You'll always have Bail Organa, by the way. Our first, I think, the first Hispanic Star Wars character. No. As a lead. I mean, yeah, yeah. As, as a He'll lead. be on the Andor show, right? Which I'm really excited about. Yep. Yeah. Is so. he gonna sing? I hope so. Is it be a musical? Yeah. I hope so too. <laughs> Well, talking about shows that fell off, <laughs> uh, one of my favorite shows of all time is Arrested Development. So I guess I'm going to start it off. And in my top five, I have an animated movie here. A 3D animated movie. See, I guess that's what you would describe it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You haven't said the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the suspense is killing me. So I love animated movies. So that's why I'm really excited about this one. And... I, I believe it's called 3D Animation. But it is the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Wow, that is a dark horse pick right, right there. I love that Top movie. Five? <laughs> of all time. See, no, that's what no I'm judgment, saying. No like, this is what I'm saying. Like These are movies that produce the most joy, that spark the most joy. And I would watch over and over again. And I love Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. That's awesome. Okay. Um, it also It's also the movie that introduced me to Phil Lord and Chris Miller. And I love those two movie directors. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that did Lego Movie, uh, 21 Jump Street. Solo. Uh, Rip Solo. So, <laughs> that's the... No. I wanted that. I know some of you guys didn't want that. I really wanted them to direct a solo movie. I believe in them. I believe Kath Kathleen Kennedy screwed up there. <laughs> okay. But that's just me. Um, we talked a little bit about what our experience was and kind of what we're looking forward to. Um, sometimes we, it feels like we're in like a negative place, but based on this conversation, it seems like we all have one thing that kind of ties us, and that's hope. Hope. Yeah. Oh, sure. I thought you were gonna say Obi Wan. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hope. Yeah. Hope. Yeah. 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 Yes, that's true. Yeah. Well, there you go. So, and I think that's the tr thread. I think that's that. That's one of those driving forces in Star Wars: the hope that lies in the center of the narrative, and the hope that it gives us for a better world. A more civilized time, as Obi Wan once mentioned. It's Monday, and you know what that means. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Searching for MacGuffin proudly brings to you your host, George, Gabe, and Link. And we're back with new gear in preparation. For full gear. And also, quick question. who, Which children are listening to this podcast? <laughs> I think my niece. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, our niece. She's right. an avid supporter. Right? Okay, yeah. yeah. She contributes to our Patreon. Yeah. So keep keep those likes and your support, your financial support coming. Yes, yes, Zoe. Please do. <laughs> All right. So today's topic is 
the hottest sports entertainment thing in the world. Woo! And this is the term that Link came up with when we were asking, like, what what should we talk about? This is the verbiage that he came up with, which is apropos for the medium. Yeah, Link came up with this, and I instantly fell in love with it. And I'm kind of the one that that really fought for it to be a part of it. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, I stand by it. I think that's a very awesome term for what we're going to be discussing today. I'm going to try to be as positive as possible. It's funny because we always try to have like kind of like a balanced presentation here. But when we were talking about this, as a like, full disclosure, I don't think any of us are like real fans of this take on the DC characters. Agreed. Well, yeah. No, 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 not me. What? Why do you think that is? I don't know. I think it's it's a uh, there's a number of things. I think personally for me, um, I think Zach can be kind of overindulgent in his films. Mm, mm-hmm. Um, he can be kind of I don't know. Let's say how would you say it? I don't want to be mean, but it's like he's kind of full of himself when in some of these films. Okay. Like like Zack Snyder's Justice League. There was a lot of hype around that one, and, and I, I think we'll get into it later. Yeah, we'll get but, to that. But I think that that one was just, and other and in other instances as well, where he kind of just it, the films insist upon themselves, and I'm kind of just like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, I do know how I feel about it. I'm just <laughs> trying to be as nice as possible. <laughs> oh, by the way, let me tell. I know I shared this with George. I haven't shared this with Gabriel, but I thought of this restaurant idea. Well, it's a Marvel themed fried chicken restaurant, titled. It's based. That's based in, in. It's based in Hell's Kitchen, titled "The Blind Lawyer from Hell's Chicken." <clears throat> I thought that was a good. <laughs> I thought that was a good title. I was really impressed with that. Tweet it, copyright it. Tweet it and copyright you do it. Do what you got to do. Yeah, squat oh. on the domain. Oh, no the one take blind it. lawyers from from Hell's Chicken is from that Hell's yeah. Chicken. Yeah, the blind lawyers from Hell's Chicken. Fried rice, fried food. Yeah, it's kind of wordy and long, but hey, what works works, right? Yeah, you know what's long? Searching for MacGuffin. That's not that long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to the back to the topic, right? You could be alive at any point in life, but right now you are alive, right? I mean, in time, and right? But right now you're here, and you're able to watch all these great Marvel movies that they have that have come out. Yeah. Back to the you know, if you play one superhero, uh-huh. jumping over, yeah. And it's okay if you do it because it makes you know different company. But right. you're Batman. Okay, no, but come on, man. There's so there's decades. There is time. decades. In but, '89 and '92, but is, he yes. was Batman. But who is your Batman? I mean, it's Tim Burton. Yeah, I mean, it's Tim Burton. It's yeah. Michael Keaton. It's Tim Burton's Batman. Exactly, Michael Gabriel. Who's yeah. your Batman? Christian Bale. Exactly. It's like you're jumping ship. You can't do that, but. But we're so far yeah. to, like removed from you're, you're, which, ironically, you, now we're not. Yeah. But. But actually, I love the fact that he he's at least in this movie yeah. because before this, before Birdman, mm-hmm. he wasn't doing much. Right. You know, I feel like because of Birdman, which he became might be, another Birdman. Well, yeah, which might be the prequel to this what movie. What are you talking about, man? He was in um, uh, the other guys. Yeah, the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he wasn't in like I whatever like what happened to Michael Keaton? Like mm-hmm. he just stopped, right? Yeah. He does Birdman. You know, pr- critical acclaim. Yeah. He Oscar nominee. I don't know if he wins an Oscar, but he, he do- not, he's nominated for an Oscar. Right. And now we get it. Now he's back here. Yeah. And he's old, so he can be Vulture. But he's not as old as I would expect Vulture yeah. to be. So you're already like, okay, you're going to throw curveballs. And I'm, in, I'm here for it, you know? Mm-hmm. But where is he going to go afterwards now? Where? Vulture? No, no, no. Michael Keaton. Oh, he's going to go back to Batman. Exactly. But he's also going to go back to Vulture. He's a, he's you a, can't do that. He's a daywalker. <laughs> you man. can't do he that. He walks between two worlds. Eternals will be on Disney+. Plus. Mm. So, which is kind of a short window. Good for everyone who hasn't seen it. Bad for everyone who has seen it. Okay, <laughs> I don't mean to be negative, but I know a lot of people really like this movie, and I guess I'm happy for them. I'm definitely not one of them. I think the collective opinion of the three of us is weakest ever out of the 24 movies. Oh, weakest. I came in like the weakest movie of all time. <laughs> I, was like, Whoa. I think I think Thor. <laughs> Dark World is better than this. I would watch Thor Dark World three times in a row. And it wouldn't be as long as this. <laughs> it wouldn't feel as long yeah. as this movie. I'll watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy extended edition and it wouldn't feel as long now as this. Now we try to stay positive on this podcast. Or at least me and Gabe do. That's Yeah, you. that's your gimmick. Yeah, but it's not a gimmick. We're just trying to be positive. But I, I didn't enjoy this film at all. Which is the strangest thing to say. I mean, you could. we could probably have a whole episode about this film. <laughs> 
yeah. <laughs> we didn't like about it. Um, but I mean, any positives from this film? Mm, I'd say it's pretty, but sometimes it isn't. I wasn't old enough to go through the NES craze because, like, when it came out, I was only a couple years old. But in 92, I was eight, if my math is correct. And it was the perfect time for me to get the Super Nintendo. And I'll never forget how revolutionary this Christmas was for me. I was away. I was in New York. I was traveling back to family, spending time with my older brothers. And I think they convinced my parents to get this for me. And, like, it was sold out everywhere, like every Nintendo launch ever, you know? And... The best part of it about it was I didn't even know what video games were. I since I didn't have an NES, like I was like, "What is this box? You plug it into the TV, and for the first thing for you to play is Super Mario World." What well, blew my mind, and I didn't sleep for weeks at a time. And I think like every year and around Christmas time, usually if I'm not busy with something else, I replay Super Mario World. And it takes me like 45 minutes to beat. It took me like 45 days or more mm-hmm. back in the day. But yeah, the the Super Nintendo. That was a mistake probably for my parents because I think it was... Yeah, the, the Game Boy also was a mistake because <laughs> it started my obsession with video games. Yeah, it was just... It was the first step in what gets us to here today doing this show with you guys about all of this. Like games, movies. Yeah. I mean, we could be, you know, doing worse stuff. Yeah, I guess. On this show, what we try to do is examine storytelling, you know, pick up on themes, evaluate, you know, narrative structure, uh, foreshadowing, hints for the future, and interconnectivity, you know, of thought. But sometimes that conversation has gone so far before I've even seen the episode. Yeah. Because if I go on the, if I watch the show the next day and then go on a forum, for example, I don't have a ton of social media, but I do have Reddit. And I go up there and I look at the episode conversation and they've exhausted every piece of information on the face of the planet Earth, you know, trying to guess where this show is going. And it just fills you. You talked about like not meeting expectations. It's expectations that the show doesn't build for itself. Exactly. It's entirely outside of the narrative. It's people doing a disservice to the show. Yeah. Yeah. I will say in that in that uh, in the event of that Elizabeth Olsen comment. Mm -hmm. That was. <laughs> she that wasn't trolling kind of when mess- she said that, right? No. Like she really. That, yeah, yeah, I think she. I think she believed it, but honestly, like I don't know how someone. I knew it wasn't gonna be ever as big because yeah. I don't think anything can be as big. Yeah. Personally, for me, with Luke Skywalker, but I definitely do agree with Link that since this is the first one, it did. I did um kind of enter that culture of. Yeah theorizing mm-hmm. every five seconds once the show is over until the next week, yeah. until the next week, until the next week, to the point that when you get to the end and these things don't pay off in the sense of like all these expectations that you built, there is a sense of disappointment because you had gargantuan yeah. like expectations yeah. for something that, as you said, the show does not build for itself. I think we live in a world where we have so much at our finger. Tips. Information is shared back and forth. It all started with just prose narrations. We used to go to the live theater and see actors perform that. And that became less popular as we invented film. And then we created the theaters. Now we can see these stories at home. But these mediums, they continue to exist, you know, among certain circles. We don't stop telling stories a certain way. We just diversify and we still teach in schools, but you can learn anything from behind your computer screen. And I think that it's amazing that as technology advances, the storytelling methods, they adapt, but at their core, they remain the same type of stories we've been telling our whole lives. We we seek to communicate ideas to one another and share our stories with the people around us. And we can sit here and we can uh, provide conjecture as to what direction. But the great thing about the future is that we never really know where it's going. So all we can do is continue to explore this world and try to find that place where we belong. Sometimes it's in a theater hall. Sometimes it's sitting at home. But always it's surrounded by the people that we love. 
and by new people that we're one moment away from meeting and discovering. So we're out of episodes. <laughs> <laughs> with, with Gabe. Yeah. yeah. And then so then the other idea was the holiday season, a lot of people come back home. People who um, either teach somewhere or are going to school or work outside, they come back home for the holidays. So we had like all these plans of what we were going to do, have guests on the show. Yeah. And do a couple of special things that we're still... Guess how many We were going to get... <laughs> Guess how many our, happened. Our PR team got Quentin Tarantino to yeah. be on the show. Yeah, it was actually going to be uh, ta- a table read with Quentin, Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez. Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's all we had. Yeah. That's, that's pretty, enough. Yeah, Come on. That's it. Right? it that's was pretty, us. It's not stacked enough, yeah. to be honest. We need yeah. more. I mean, we, we, were, don't have, we don't have that many connections. We were going to do a table read of Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> The but, entire cast. Yeah. Well, because cast. of COVID, uh, Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino couldn't make it. Full disclosure, this is a joke, and we're not claiming that they were going to be here. Okay, <laughs> please don't sue us, Quentin and Robert. We like you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope that helps. We're big fans. I like Spy Kids. All right. So I remember after school, I went to the front of the school, and I guess my teacher let us out like 20 minutes early for some reason. Mm-hmm. So I went to the front of the school, and I'm there with my friend playing, and the p- principal drives by in his car, and he goes, young men, what are you guys doing there? And I saw, th- I just saw his face and how mad he looked, and I was like, oh my goodness. I wasn't even worried about getting expelled or suspended, <laughs> and like, they're going to take my Game Boy and my brand new Pokemon game. Yeah. I'm old enough to remember, like, handheld devices just being banned at school. Yeah. They yeah, were, man. Yeah. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to get in trouble now. I'm going to lose this. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then the principal goes, it, there is no one here who's taking care of you. Go to my office and play there. And I thought, oh, okay. Am I getting in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> so I go to his office and I'm there. And then he comes in and he, he tells me, he tells us, me and my friend, that we always have to be supervised. So he would prefer that we play here in his office instead of being out in the front by Super ourselves nice guy. So yeah. the, he did he let us he said that walked away and he let us play he let us finish the trading in his office and i thought man mr scott you are the best <laughs> i was really Shout waiting for the scott. part where he was like hey you want to trade we weren't yeah, there yeah, yet yeah. we weren't there yet but um, so my favorite part is where he's like you have to be supervised here come play in my office goodbye because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> the secretary yeah. was there but <laughs> you know, well, uh, John Johnny Lawrence is a lot worse of a human being than Larusso. Yeah, because I watched season one, and I was surprised at how easily I was convinced. <laughs> like uh, otherwise, otherwise, I'm like, man, Johnny Lawrence is awesome. I hate Daniel Larusso. <laughs> no, yeah, same. Uh, yeah, I'm like, Whoa, I hate Daniel. I hate okay. this guy. Okay, but from a cool factor though, right? Because one thing that is a problem, and I think is still kind of an unaddressed problem, is like this guy is like a deadbeat alcoholic right like yeah i when is johnny gonna address being like seriously in need for like substance rehabilitation season five probably okay you think we'll get there you think or do you think it's like they're just gonna ignore i don't know but i've said it multiple times like bro this guy is an alcoholic yeah. like he has a problem because it's literally just and i don't know if it's i don't know if that's something that, they, that they're gonna address because it's pretty prevalent throughout the whole show and I, I yeah. guess he's gotten better. Mm, I don't know, man. Because I feel like they always go out of their way to put one beer too many in the scene. You know, to leave them all crumbled up in the background and for him to do something stupid because he's drunk. And today is a very special episode. It is our first S4M monthly. That is right. Every last Monday of the month. Yes, every last Monday of the month. Too many, M- too many M's there got me. <laughs> Unless there's something special going on. We're going to have a monthly recap? It's, it's not really a recap. Well, we, we recap what we our month. Okay, so I've thought about this. Like, I don't like the word recap because it makes it sound like we have to... Review? Yeah. and like, Monthly review? Sometimes I listen to shows and they like tell me what happened on the show. And I'm like, I don't want... No, but this isn't what happened on the recap. show. It's what happened to our lives. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so every mon- every last Monday of the month, we're going to ha- be having a monthly where we talk about news that's happened throughout the month, uh, what we read, 
shows we watched, movies we watched, and we'll talk about some recommendations that we have for you guys from our curated list of media that we consumed. But before we continue with our monthly, I want to let you guys all know that this month in January, we pretty much, uh, what's the word here? Launched. 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 I was going to say started. You're going to say lunch. I was going to say lunch. Uh, I had a tuna sandwich for lunch today. I haven't had a tuna sandwich. I wanted to recap my week with I had batata. A what? What? I think it's a sweet potato. Sweet potato? Yeah. Wow. Mm. What did I have for lunch? Celsius. I I remember Diddy Kong Racing because I remember Conquer. Um, was in it and he was like cute and adorable yeah loved and him. they hadn't finished developing that game and then when they did it was a rated M for mature game <laughs> and I remember going to Toys R Us and like having to hide from my parents that I bought the game and they actually sold it to me even though they weren't supposed to and and then playing that game in I don't think that people ever paid attention to man, that. Uh, that Toys R Us and Kendall man yeah oh, R.I.P. wow the memory Memory. You know what's super funny about those like video game uh, age restriction laws? Like it was a huge thing in the '90s, like in the in like Congress about you know game censorship yeah. and Nintendo and, got involved. Yeah, and then at the end of the day, like whatever. no one cared. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm in Grand Theft Auto committing my fourth robbery of the day. <laughs> like I am killing prostitutes uh, <laughs> oh, oh. as a ten year old in a video game. Right? To be clear, okay, yeah, okay, in the yeah. Game. not in real life. Okay. Hey, Danny, edit this out. We yeah, need, uh, I wasn't sure that that was going to make the cut. Um, <laughs> yeah. Contestant number three. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go, Link? I think I would go with Danny. And I will invite Gabe as well. This I just don't think they need to be on this show. Yeah. Like, they're made for each I other. Think, I think it's implied that you would be taking the person who chooses you. Okay. Well, a, yeah. no, well, Dan, I and, I, Dan yeah. and I are gonna are both going to get married at the same time and both have our honeymoon. Oh, double. We're yes. both going to make burner accounts and yeah. vote for each other. And um, I'd go to Japan. Mm-hmm. With me? Yeah, yeah. We've established it's a double honeymoon. Okay, continue. But instead of renting out a hotel, I would stay in one of those pods in, that they have in Tokyo Drift. You know which one I'm talking about? Where they just sleep? No. For like, it's like one space for like one person? Yeah, one person, and you right? you just share that? Yeah, I should share that would, with yeah. my wife, yeah. No, you with mean me. with Danny? No, 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 no. He'd be on the next pod with his wife. But you're both on this pod. No, yeah, we're, we bo- both we're both on, on this podcast. Pod. This, oh. No, no, we're both no, in no. that pod. No, 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 no in no. this pod. The, this pod. Yeah, I want, the pod. I want, what pod? N- with the podcast. We. I want nothing to do pod. with you in the same pod. Why? Yeah. But you're on you're this pod. You're literally on the same pod. We're in this pod. Right this, pod. pod. this pod, we're good. Yeah. A, a Japanese pod, no bueno. <laughs> That's not Japanese. Japanese pod. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I, don't, I don't think you're allowed to do that. Don't, don't, Japan- don't, don't get Transitioning to the next question. Next question. That would kind of... Talk them up, and obviously the toys. I think the toy is yeah. is. I had all the Star Wars toys, so I think, um, that and his ship. Um, were, I did. I did have a Lego version of his ship. Yeah, like it oh, was, was just cool. what? Which which ship is that? I'm not sure what it's called now. <laughs> I never. I didn't know. I didn't know the name. What it was. I didn't know what it was called. But it wasn't. It wasn't Boba. It was his. It was Jango Fett's ship. Oh, okay. It was the same ship though. Mm-hmm. It's the yeah. same ship, but. Yeah. The slave. My one. action figure was Jango. Not. I don't Boba. think you're allowed to say that. Man. What would you say? Repeat that again? No. He said fire spray. Yeah. Boba Starship. That's what it's called? Out of all the names, man. Boba Starship sounds like a metal band name. It sounds like a... a Cobra Bo- Starship? Is that what the band is called? Yeah. It sounds like I was a- thinking Jefferson Starship. Mm. If we ever start like a Boba uh, restaurant, that could be one of the flavors. Boba Starship. The fire oh, boba like boba tea, boba tea. Oh, yeah, you just thought it was a store dedicated to. Boba yeah, it Fett. was like a boba fat <laughs> themed restaurant. Really committed. Restaurant. You know, I got to work on that tweet. Yeah. So okay, but the, here's one thing. So the whole point that I wanted to talk about this movie for these few minutes is basically that it worked as a giant advertisement for Uncharted mm-hmm. because as bad as the movie was, what was the first thing I texted you when I got out of the movie? I need a PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah, me, of all people. And I said no. Yeah, and he talked me off of the ledge. Wait, why not? You know, I mean, that's that's pretty good, though. Why not? Yeah. I thought we I'll were all going it. on the PlayStation yeah. train. When the movie started, there was a bro, graphic. Who, who cares about PlayStation, bro? Yeah. There was a PlayStation 5. I want one. He, Gabriel has every console, so it's... 
He's, he says no to everything. He's constantly in like flaming the council wars, like fanning the flame of the council wars when he like he doesn't have to choose. He has everything. But um, there was a graphic at the beginning of the movie that said PlayStation Films or PlayStation Studios, and I was like, "Are you serious?" And it had like God of War and Her- um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't like that. I was very upset. I was irrationally upset immediately. But it did make me want to play the Uncharted game. So as a two-hour commercial that costs money, that you pay for, I think it did its job. So, guys, go watch Uncharted. So it did better than the Doom movie from 97 with The Rock? I don't know why. I thought you said Dune. Yeah, he didn't. (laughs) No, Doom. He said Doom. Oh. Yeah. That's that movie where that guy from Fortnite. uh... (laughs) He's in that movie. I completely forgot. And he's in the same armor as as in Fortnite. (laughs) So it's actually, that's just actually a Doom movie crossover. (laughs) The other thing about the Riddler is his costume is so grounded and down to earth that I wasn't sure that I liked it going into the media. I was open minded. I was like, oh, we'll see what the take is. But it's just like, you could just. Anyone could do it. Yeah, you could just make that costume for yourself. And and it. And it plays into that yeah. final act. And it's very uncomfortable. Yeah. If yeah. I see someone like dressed as a Riddler for Halloween, because I, you know, when when the Joker came out, like, when Heath Ledger's Joker came out, everyone was, you know, even in that, in the, they had that bit in the office where everyone was dressed like the Joker. Right. I feel, if I see someone like that, I would feel uncomfortable because yeah. you can't I'm see their face. I'm worried about you. You can't yeah, see yeah. their face at all. So you really right. don't know their intention. That's mm-hmm. more unnerving yeah, that's than more... Heath's Joker mm-hmm. because of how real it is. Yeah. And it's not cool. It's, too. It's, yeah, it's not it's cool. Not it's cool. scary. Like, it's if you terrifying. come here dressed like that, I'm not going to be like, oh, that's awesome from the Batman. I'm no, going like, to be like, no. You take you, that off, please. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't he in that Journey movie? Journey to the Center of the Earth? I don't know if that was before or after, but I think it well, the first one was before. I'm almost. Actually, heard. I think that might have been before. Was this yeah. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence's like, big breakout role? Or I feel like there was something before. Mm, I th- I'm almost certain I'm this was her sure. biggest breakout role. I think this was, I think this was it. Yeah. Okay. She might have been. I'm sure she was in stuff. Oh, no, before, no. But. Winter's Bone? There we go. Yeah. That's yeah. What? That's what? where she got like, it. It was like Remember Oscar nominated. nominated. Oscar nominated yeah, from there true. on. Yeah, like, what? She, what? <laughs> what is it? Winter's Bone. You don't know? This is a Peter Jackson movie? Yeah. Yeah. When, what happens in it? Why don't I remember her at all? There's like a murder. I have no idea. I've never watched it. A yeah. murder. But I, remember, like, I, I remember she got a lot of I don't of think hype. I have seen it. I always confuse that and Lovely Bones Movie for some night, reason. Guys. Lovely Bones. Wait, maybe it's... Oh, movie. maybe that's the Lovely Bones that I'm describing. With Tucci, right? I always right? confuse him. But huh? she's not in the Lovely Bones. That's with another girl. That's Saoirse Ronan. Yeah. Yeah. But now I think I'm describing the plot of Lovely Bones. I don't know what Do we're talking about. Do they both have about. murder? I want to say yes. Murder. But I want to tell you there's an 85% chance I'm completely wrong. They both okay. have bones, right? They both have bones. This is established in the titles. Yes. Okay. My pick is Encanto. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh but who you the think Mitchells is and win? the Machines is although I watched it and it's funny, it I'm, uh, comedy. It is comedy. And you're not gonna it's, rep it. It, 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 it's, it is my boy. Live Phil long Lord. enough to see yourself become the villain. It's it is my boys Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Oh wow, what a traitor you are. Exactly. Yeah. What about Kurt Ulbricht, bro? Um <laughs> They they have they won the Annie. They it won the Annie for best an, for best animated picture. Okay. So you think they're gonna win it? I think they might win it. What? No way. That movie is I, which not I would be, that strong. Which, I like, that's Netflix strong. money, baby. I don't think it's that strong either. I don't it's think It's the weakest so. one in this category I to me. I think Raya, one. Raya and the Last Dragon. It's better is than excellent. Mitchell's. Luca's. What were you saying? Like finish? Sorry. No, no, no. I agree with you. I, I, but there's a heavy push, and then here again, studios mm. pushing my boys. Pushing for the <laughs> <laughs> your boys are the ones pushing. <laughs> what? Who, who's pushing? Pushing, pushing like Phil Lord, Chris Miller, the producers. They're pushing for this to win. Do I think it's gonna win? I think Encanto might win. It's gonna. Uh, if Encanto I loses to I the Mitchells en- versus Encanto the Machine, wins. we riot. There we will, riot. There will not be an Oscar and episode next year. No, yeah. it, it won't. We won't watch the Oscars. Yeah. We won't talk about Oscars. We'll do what Pablo Escobar did to that okay. other guy. Okay, this, this Sorry? is not an official threat. Yeah, this show does not. <laughs> Nobody here the belongs of to Pablo the cartel. <laughs> That's and you mean. said how many it's... how many scripts did they go through? Oh yeah, so they went through two, over two hundred and sixty five script drafts. Um, and they ended up for with this, this show garbage, bro. And so and we only go for like over two or three for this show. So what was the budget for this show, by the way? For our show? No, it's about two fifty. <laughs> for our show, it's, it's running on fumes. But Paramount, that give show us, give us the Halo money, Paramount. Okay. That show, ten million per episode. 
Wow. Oh, Even that's the, pilot, the part though? that broke me. Even the pilot. Because it, yeah. it could be bad. Like it's a pilot. We don't. So, it could get better I, after. I, and I agree with that. That's why I'm going to give them a second chance. But no. I don't think I'm going to give them a third chance. No, yeah, because I've seen ter- plenty of shows with terrible pilots that are at least decent. So I don't know. I haven't looked into whether they developed this pilot and then got an order for the rest of the show. So you're going to give it two episodes um, and that's it. I'm gonna subjugate. If it's as painful as this first how, one, do we know how many how many episodes? Nine, nine. nine episodes. I'm gonna subjugate my show the, myself to the whole season. Yeah, and give I'll it a let season. You guys know. Give it a season. Yeah. Do I have high hopes? No, but did I have high hopes going in? No. I'm, I'm the opposite of Dan. He loves. He only he only likes soda when he pays for it. But I <laughs> I love soda when it's free. I know I, I said that. <laughs> yeah, you you were very adamant about it. I just didn't know how I feel about like. I don't know. Freeze. I don't know. How what, I feel what do you mean? I don't, I don't like that, this. What, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know why. I I want to pay for dehydration. No, it's yeah. not because I want to pay. It's just like, are they why losing the money? Fuck? Like I don't. Like, no, I don't like, they're it, not losing money because soda. Soda's so cheap. Yeah, soda's so cheap. It costs like five cents for this giant bag of syrup that just goes into oh, yeah, carbonated it's not water. Even actual soda. Yeah, and it it's there for like the whole month. Like it makes no sense that soda so is like yeah, it's so expensive. It's just like I don't know. I had the thought of like little kids being able to just touch and like it's just like to me, I don't know why I thought it was like, oh, that's kind of gross. But I <laughs> but it's you press the <laughs> I'm button. I'm talking myself. And the soda hole. shows up. <laughs> You Listen. seem like the type of person that would buy holy. Can I explain? It it's into, because turn it into a, a hospital. When I used to go to the Sam's Club, their their soda machine was always dirty and like gross. So I didn't like drinking from. So the, you the would soda get machine. ice and then buy yourself a twenty four pack of that <laughs> no, soda. No, I just wouldn't drink it. soda. <laughs> That's what you did. You bought it in bulk. No, you were I like, did not. You didn't even take soda. the rest of the twenty three home. You just I left drink, it there. I didn't drink soda. <laughs> nah, he's the kind of person that is like, oh, would you like a refill? And he goes, no, thank you. I'd like to purchase a different <laughs> soda. <laughs> yep. You haven't seen Sonic the original movie? No. Was it on if, Paramount Plus? Yeah, I don't care about CBS. I thought he was gonna say I don't have Paramount Plus. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. This is the first I've heard of that. You don't have Paramount Plus? I know. Yeah, you should get it. They have a good show called. If only Halo. I had a, I if only if had a family it's member. It's a that. small one. It's if only you had a family member that had, had Paramount, Paramount Plus, Plus for the entire year. They also have iCarly. Ooh, the oh, Fairly Odd oh. Parents live action. In the Fairly Odd Parents live action. Yeah, is that a real thing? thing? No, it's true. Yeah, it is. It's true. out like it exists. Or yeah. Wait, who? Who are the Fairly Odd Parents? Not the not like who play, who are the actors that play the fairy odd parents. No, John Bon Jovi. They're, 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 the fairly odd parents are <laughs> animated, <laughs> but everyone else is live action. You just oh. said live action, and then they're just animated. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone else is like it's, Timmy's the actual person. It's, it's just the fairies it's are like animated. Looney Tunes back in action. Timmy and the Lords of the Underworld would have been interesting. To what? He's the Lord of the Underworld. <laughs> what? Never mind. The Yakuza. No, I actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? I actually got my my blue eyes stolen from a friend. Ooh. Um, Zaire. <laughs> shout out to Zaire. Shout out Zaire. But then, shout out Zaire. But then I, I come this all the time, right? Yeah. I confronted him the next day. I'm like, hey, where's oh, my Oh, I thought like recently. You no, I confronted him the next day, like, hey, where's my Pokemon? Where's my just... I'm sorry, where's my blue eyes white dragon? And like and then he started laughing and he gave it to me. Oh, he gave it back. He gave uh, it back, yeah. Oh, never mind. Come take it back. I mean, because I confronted Wait, when did him that with my I, I Apparently the next like, day. I confronted him with Paul, oh, with my okay. brother, <laughs> who was like ten oh. years old. Now reparations were made twenty years later. I thought like last but week was, you were like, yo, where's my yo, car? Yo, you. <laughs> he gave it back creased in the middle. I was so mad because it looked like he put it in his pocket. So you should have beat him so up. So I'm anyway. like, oh, we should have beat him up. <laughs> Bro, that's like creasing your Jordans. Zaire, that is, is that if I ever see you again. That's why you got to Searching walk. for MacGuffin is going to beat that, you up. Oh, no. That's the worst thing, uh, creasing the your views and oh, no, accusations yeah. and threats. With love. Presented but, if with you, love. but if you become a, uh, but if you donate, but if you become a donator, become subscriber, yeah. we'll reparations, kick reparations were made, if, or will be <laughs> we'll made. give you a hug. We won't beat you up. We'll hug you. What? What? Your team, Edward? Yeah. I guess everyone's team Edward. No, technically, don't we all have to be team? Uh, what's his name? I was. Jacob. I was always still J- team Jacob. Yeah, we're team like Jacob because Gabriel is literally Jacob. Yeah, that's so true. I, supo- too. I support my boy. He's yeah. Why weren't you shark, shirtless, Shark Boy? Yeah. Why aren't you, you shirtless been in right now? <laughs> I was in college. Gabriel, why do you have a shirt on? You got to be Taylor Lautner. <laughs> he might not have a shirt on. Our I don't viewers. Have a, I don't have a shirt on. But yet. in the comments, is is Gabriel wearing a shirt this episode? <laughs> if you want to see Gabriel without a shirt, support our Patreon. <laughs> that doesn't. Exist yet? Exist yet? Yeah, but that's a con- type of content soon. you will be seeing. Prepare for shirtless. Pizza. I'm sorry, where it's did not. this go? <laughs> I like. It's not. It's not the type of. Gabe, okay, we're gonna need some shirtless. Pizza. So, 
I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna Google random shit. This picks. Um, if they're not of you. They're, they're not me. They're just, they're they're just provided by Gabriel. Exactly. But they're random people's shirtless picks. <laughs> like different different races. <laughs> Gabriel's face. <laughs> yeah, different body types too. Yeah. Because you know we're not. Ex- well, we're inclusive, baby. We're inclusive, yeah. Right? They canceled Bone, but I know I'm gonna see like ten more reality TV shows hosted by Nick Lachey and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> or you're gonna see you're gonna see a bone like ripoff. There's gonna be a series that's gonna hey, be like, not too hot to handle, man. Yeah, let's what's talk gonna, a, muscle. Is that is, is that the it's gonna be? Yeah, called? muscle. This show, <laughs> love is blind. Love is blind. <laughs> love is blind. Starring muscle. Um, <laughs> uh, let's talk about bone for a second because I know that this is a like a very like sore spot for you and I. I think Lincoln Gabe probably don't have the same. Kind of surprising that the two people in the middle missed it. I didn't know what the heck that was until Danny started complaining about it on the chat. I'm like, oh no, who died? (laughs) Bro, I thought I thought they canceled Shadow and Bone. Like, I was like, no, I actually like season one. No, luckily for you, Shadow and Bone is safe. (laughs) Let's go. They're gonna cancel tomorrow. They listen to this show. Yeah. You don't think Star Wars sometimes treads that comic book water where it's like everyone survives? Well, how many times have they done it? Um, Palpatine. Maul, Boba, Palpatine. Yeah, Palpatine was a disgrace, man. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, Palpatine was a disgrace. Boba, I feel like everyone knew it was a lie. Yeah, Deep I mean, inside their hearts. Okay, but Boba, because that's like everyone knew because that was the first one where like no one would accept the death. So it was like myth, legend, then written into, you know, um, extended universe. And eventually it had to be canonized, you know? <laughs> but then Darth Maul was the same thing. It was like nobody wanted to accept that Lucas actually killed. that's true, bro. The dude got cut in half. Yeah. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> no, yeah, honestly, yeah. Mace the, Windu lost his hands, but Mace but Windu is a human or whatever it is. So that... did so did Luke. That's what I'm saying. He's, he can be alive. Yeah, that's true. But he got... Star Wars has shown he could he could have gotten pushed out, and then he lands like on a car that's going by, and yeah, you're already and writing. He went into the, hiding. The return no, scene. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. okay. percent. He went. He went into he's hiding. Just, he's just really pissed. And he's, he's just back. super he's, pissed. You know, in between sides because he's just. And then angry. he had to like look for his lightsaber for like ten years. <laughs> he, no, he made. <laughs> that's a what new he's been doing one. the whole time. New purple one. No, a different color. What color? Darker purple. <laughs> Royal purple. <laughs> I, th- I thought that was awesome. I thought that was sick, like, man. I was disappointed. I'm like, I don't really like. I, I'm, I'm with Danny. I don't really like this movie. But if what we get from this movie is John Krasinski as Doc, as Reed Richards, this was the worst way to introduce him. This was wor- worst way to introduce him. <laughs> but I'm happy. Okay. Because I've, I've wanted that since that's WandaVision. What, that's what scares me, man. Like, did they just give us to us? Like, hey, we heard you. Here it is. He's dead For now. One We're going to go with somebody else. Yeah. The first night, I was like, I don't know how I feel about it in relation to this. I, I have to see where we're going. The second time we saw it, I thought, no, I'm pretty sure it was a misstep either way. Because this is what I feel. If they gave it to the fans who wanted John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic and now he's gone, wow. Yeah. That's a huge yeah. letdown. If, they, if this is a appetizer for him being the lead of the fantastic four movie i think they did a disservice to the character i think they didn't make him look or sound smart and i think they punked him out yeah like in a quote-unquote jobber match to feed wanda meaning he appeared low level and just to build up another character yeah link link you have you have like you you have a brownie face i don't know Resident uh, expert that, in comedy. Yeah. Any any thoughts? Yeah, how do you feel about Marvel's comedy? I agree with Dan. I, I think whenever they know how to do it right, and when they joke around, you know, it's sometimes it's hit or miss. But it'd be like, ah, it'd be something I do to ease the tension for me. Sounds like you agreed with me, but then gave credit to agreeing with Dan. No, no, right? I think we all agreed. What? People hate it when we all agree. <laughs> Wait, how do we all agree? Because I mean, his point makes sense. My point makes sense. Link's points make sense. Okay, do you think it's because? Maybe some of the things that have been coming out recently aren't as like stacked as what we've gotten in the past tomorrow, like in their phases. So, like, so? Stacked, oh, yeah, unpack that yeah. to that point where we have these moments, like in Moon Knight, where we see those first couple episodes uh-huh. that we're not sure of, right? That we're like, I don't know if I like this yet. Obviously, you reserve judgments at the end, but in the moment, like 
you can have your feelings towards it and they may not, not always be positive. Uh, Eternals, I think it was a miss for all of us. Um, like things nah, like I that. I loved it. <laughs> I have a poster in my room. You're welcome. But like, do you, do you understand what I'm saying or, yeah. or no? No? Sort of. No, you said yes, but <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, just... Nah, I was a really big fan of Drake and Josh. They actually, funny story, they um, they had an episode where they had like lost power mm -hmm. and they were just like a group of people. They were just like a group, like a big group of people in their house. Yeah. And then one of the characters just gets them all to like do like a, a, a clap, like a, I don't know if you can hear that, but whatever. They clap. basically started. Ba uh, Dan, when you resurrect, can you insert clap sound here? Okay. I think he did it. Go. We just got to give his body a Celsius. Um, so they basically started, uh, singing, we will rock you by queen. Uh-huh. And that's what got me into queen. Is that the first time you heard we will rock you? Yeah. Wow. Ever? Yeah. That's crazy. Mm. Wow. That's not true. <laughs> so heard, why'd you say it? Then? That's not true. That's the first time you I was. Yes. And he knew. No, the, we, the first time. Cause the, okay. You just, the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Yourself. You just you know. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, the f that's successful not, podcast. Yes, and that's themselves. That's not good improv, sir. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not a liar. Anyways, improvs are liars. This oh, is, okay. this is Gabriel's yeah, you're, take. You're a liar. Yeah. Oh, okay. I am, and yes, and what? It's in um, that movie, the the Night's Tale, Star Wars. Hey, you want to hear a joke? Hit me. Why is sixty eight scared of seventy? Why? Cause 68, 69, 70. <laughs> <laughs> that joke sucked. <laughs> Dang, I thought it was a good one. Let me know if you like that joke. I'll come up with more as we go on. Okay. So, so Megacon. 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 Day one. Day one. Okay, so Danny and I drove up from Miami to Megacon with our arch nemesis, Panda Man. Panda Man. Pandemonium. He was actually, yeah, Pandemonium. He was actually our Uber driver. Um, he's driving us right he's now. He's driving us now, yeah. This is going to be a very expensive fare. Yeah. Hey, he doesn't not. know we're paying yeah, he, him with beef jerky. Yeah. Hope he's not vegetarian. I'm ready to run. What? I'm ready to run as soon as he parks. Oh, boy. He's dropping you off for I, send me. Oh, you're right. Oh, man. My house comes first. Good luck. You know what? You should, you should take me home. <laughs> um... But I've seen a lot of trailers since they're quick and, and short. Oh, okay. Is Cortana considered a peaking Tom? <laughs> a peaking I don't peeping know. Tom? Yeah. Peeping. That, that, peeping. Is that peeping. Is that peeping? Peeping. peeping. He's, peeking. He's a peeking blind. A pe pecking duck. A peeking Tom. Peeping. peeping. Is it peeping or peeking? It's peeping. peeping. Oh, I did not know that. Idioms are not my thing, guys. Peeking? And you know, because you're peeking. The anti-idiom agenda by Link. You're oh, peaking, like you're peeking. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, did not. Peaking blind, I guess. He's peeping. Oh, he's dang. Peeping. I did not oh, no, know it was peeping. peeping. Yeah, why did you just convince me it was peeing? It's peeping. It's I, peeping. I did. I'm, I said peeping. Oh. <laughs> it sounds no. like she's peeing. She's peeping. No. No. That That's not what like I'm trying to say. No. She's saying that. No, it's a peeping Tom. Yeah, because you're peeping. No, it's peeking. It's not a peeking. It is. Are you serious? The Tom is This conversation is going extraordinarily long. He's She's peeking. The Tom is peeking. He's you know, peeking okay. You know who peaking. else is peeking? Marvel. Oh, hot topics. Hot topic. Well, that builds like on a new. Story I guess the original characters. characters aren't there. Yeah, sure. But like, for example, you just said Ghostbusters. Uh, what do you call it, Link? The name of this movie? Oh, Ghost Ghostbusters twenty sixteen. Yeah, real real Ghostbuster fans call it answer Chris the call. Hemsworth. But this movie has real fans. No, no, I'm just Ghostbusters. We really <laughs> Ghostbusters fan really want you to know that this movie is not a Ghostbusters movie. Uh -huh. mm. So they don't want Ghostbusters twenty sixteen to be confused with Ghostbusters whatever year the original Ghostbusters. Film. What about Ghostbusters? Uh... Wait, it didn't have like a subheading or anything. It was just Ghostbusters. Yeah, it was Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's called twenty sixteen because that's the year yeah. that it came out. Wait, wait, wait. but like, I it, remember it wasn't like having the, the, call, the call, answer the call, or something like that. No, so in the credits, uh, the director put answer the call, but the studio wanted it to just be called Ghostbusters. Is that Sony? Yeah, that's Sony, bro. Well, are they dumb? If the answer is stupid, yes. it's usually Sony. are they? I mean, we just talked about the whole Morbius being released, <laughs> so I would say yes. So yes, they are stupid. So if you're a little bit, if you're like, 
you know, they say opposite attracts, right? So if you're the opposite of me, I think that's better than being very similar to I me, agree. at least personality oh, yeah, wise. For sure. Because I'm very passive. I'm type B. I'm laid back. You're the same way. I've, I'm with another laid back person. Yeah. I don't think much will get done. Yeah. And that's not a problem. Um, but I prefer someone a little bit more type A, more more of a go getter. Um, and it's not because I'm I'm lazy or stuff like that, and I need motivation. Mm-hmm. It's just I opposite to attract. Um, no, I, you I, help me, yeah. you you motivate me, and then I help you also like with. It's I help a, you rest. You get me. It's stress, a balance. Not, not stress, stress out, out so much. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice balance. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely look for someone more outgoing than me. Because, yeah, exactly. You know, I can stay reserved and stay in my shell, but someone who kind of brings that out. Yeah, of you. brings it out of me, like pushes me to do things, be better, be the best me. I mean, that's what I look for. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you want to be better with the person you're with. Yeah. Yeah. That or just be Florence you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've said it before. If you're a Star Wars fan, I recommend these books completely. Thrawn's right there. What is it? What? <laughs> it was a tongue, tongue twister for me. Thrawn Treason? Thrawn Treason. Treason? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tree had a son. Tree. Thrawn <laughs> Treason. Tr- <laughs> <laughs> what? Why does Thrawn sound like he's like Nordic or something? Oh my god. Thrawn Treason. Thrawn Treason. <laughs> Thrawn Treason. <laughs> Thrawn. Man, T H R together is hard for me to pronounce. <laughs> Thrawn Treason 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 There you go Treason Oh it's like Treason Okay <laughs> Are you sure treason. you've read a book before? Treason I'm not too sure It's not looking too good <laughs> Thrawn Treason Thrawn Treason Brother of Bjorn and, and Ragnar Anyways um, So yeah Thrawn Treason Treason um, my child. I'm trying to do a Morgan Freeman voice. <laughs> Yo, I got goosebumps. Man, now I want a Celsius. You now I this? also want a No, Celsius. man. You know I can't have Celsius at this hour. Who cares? You're on summer vacation, bro. <laughs> man, but I'm not. I got to be productive. I can't be. I never realized how much is in a can of Celsius. Wow. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. It's deceiving. Okay, these cats are just going crazy now. George has two cats that I, you know, George is gone. I've been Speaking of George, when is, when is he coming back? I don't know, man. Kind of hope he's all right. I, I saw heard. pictures of him in Alaska. They're in Alaska, yeah. Oh, I probably shouldn't tell him oh, wait. where he is. No. Anyways, they were in a place that was very cold and they were- They're um, in Russia. They were like sledding. They're in Russia. Sledding, right? Kamchatka. Like, who let the dogs out? Woo, 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 woo. They were literally, like, because they're making a sequel to that movie and George and his family, they're, they're going to take the role of a- Cuba, whatever his name, Junior. Cuba Gooding Junior. Gooden, Gooden. I was gonna say Gin, <laughs> but I'm like that doesn't sound right. But when I saw it, I suspected that they didn't even get Liam Neeson. That he just had like archival footage, and I can't verify this. I don't know this. Maybe this will come out, or it has already. But it just seemed like random dialogue. I think the first thing he tells him is, "What took you so long?" And then he says. I was here all along. You just couldn't see. And then he goes, we've got a long ways to go. And I was just like, is this a Liam Neeson automated like voice recording? Like, is this for prank calling? It or could something? be. I remember Liam Neeson. I mean, he said he wasn't going to be in it. Right? He said no, he said he didn't like he didn't want to do TV like at yeah. all. So then Pete, when he showed up in the show, everyone was like, oh, you're like Andrew Garfield and like lying about if you're in it or not. But I mean, it would make sense that he didn't actually film yeah. for because he did he did voice work for Clone Wars, but yeah. it's just voice work. And the reason why I think it actually could be him is because he sounds more Irish right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's like, I don't care. Yeah, like, that's I like, am what? who I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I he, don't know. He does sound a bit different. So that's I'm why sure. I'm like, oh, okay, it's new. It, yeah, and if it is new, that's what you got him to say. <laughs> that's what I'm <laughs> that's saying. Why is it so stilted? Why is it so disconnected? Because even even if there, okay, I know there's gonna be season two, but even if there is not a season two, mm-hmm. that's what you got Qui Gon to come back for. Um, Steve's favorite character. He's just 
Steve so is the good. best. You can't go wrong with Steve, right? I like the flip flopping here, where when this show started, we wanted Nancy to break up with Steve and go yeah, with Jonathan. Steve was a jerk. Yeah, and now we're on the other opposite end of that. Where now we want we her. want her with Steve. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I want Steve with every woman on earth. I don't, including including my your mom, mother, including my mom, okay. your your wife. Inclu- that's I want Steve with everyone. Just to be clear, I'm Team Steve. My wife is not your mom. It sounded like they were the same Even, person. Yeah, you know, my mom. <laughs> and, I would and your wife and Gabriel's mom and Danny's mom. And you want to be wifeless for the rest of your if, life. If it means that Steve is happy, I don't think it, Steve would be it'd happy. Be, it'd be worth it. I don't think you understand how relationships work. I don't know. I think I understand how Steve works. I think the goats might have been. But even then, that's the, part of Norse mythology. The goat? Yeah, the goats how so? kind of funny. I mean, yeah, he was educating me on Norse mythology. Okay, go ahead. Unpack that for our listeners. No, spot. that's how, go, uh, that's the how they would, yeah, that's how they would travel. <laughs> that's how they would travel? Yeah. I, I'm not sure if it's the gods that, I mean, I think it's the gods that would travel like that. Okay. But that's part of Norse, Norse mythology. Space yes. goats? Yeah. <laughs> they would actually travel in a boat like that. So it wasn't, uh, it wasn't like he was making that up to be silly. That's literally there. Yeah. Okay. Did they scream endlessly? That I don't know. That, I, I asked them that. I was like, "Do they just normal like randomly scream like I that?" I mean, but rams yell. <laughs> I think there's one point where it got annoying, but then that part where like it rams into the the planet. Mm-hmm. Yes, that got me. I was yeah, cracking up. Um, but yeah, people can find that annoying, and I I get that. Welcome to another episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your host George, Dan. Gabe? And learn. What was that? And lurk? And lurk. And, and, and lurk. Lurk. And lurk. And lurk. Uh, this week, we we're going to be talking about one of my favorite shows, The Marvelous Miss Maisel. What? That, that's, what the sh- that's what the show notes said, right? I yeah. thought it was Captain Marvel. The movie Captain Marvel? Like yeah. from three years ago? Oh, that's right. It's not a TV show. That's right. But isn't it something about Marvel? I thought it was Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Guys, did we all just watch the wrong thing in anticipation for... I feel like I lost in this bet, though. <laughs> I don't know. I watched Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm good. Exactly. You know, I heard that there was a Mrs. Doubtfire musical on um, Broadway. Is that not what we watched? Oh, you went, to, you went to New York and watched Mrs. Doubtfire on Broadway? Yeah. How was it? Not the same without Robin Williams. I would imagine that. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I mean, that's I bet. Yeah. That's fair. Hello? Hello, yes. I'm calling from Searching for MacGuffin here at the S4M podcast. That's interesting. Your caller ID said scam likely. Um, yeah, what can I do for you? I'm calling uh, to collect payment for recent services rendered. Yeah, this is definitely a scam, uh, but I'll play with it. Uh, payments for what? Um, I'm looking at your invoice here. It seems like... You have received for the past several weeks therapy slash recreational entertainment services from our show. show you said searching for Mac- You mean those guys that on that podcast that I listened to on the school? Yeah, that is correct. Wait, but you guys, what therapy you perform? You guys just, there's like three of you kind of sometimes sort of that just talk for hours. What therapy did you provide? Well, us here at Searching for MacGuffin like to see our show as a holistic healing program for our consumers. Huh. So you want me to pay? Th- that's correct. Okay. Uh... Welcome to another episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your host, George. Yeah, I mean, not Dan. Gabe. And Link. Forget which host you Man, are, dude. Every I don't look, the thing is that it's so much time. I got just got used to it just being like George, Dan, Gabe, and Link. It does throw your timing you know. that it's just like, yeah, just doing like George, Gabe, and Link. I'm just not used to it, even yeah, though we've been fun. doing it because Dan has been on his tour for like who knows how long, yeah. And that's what it was before, like before Dan would come on, we didn't have that space there for Dan. And then we inserted the space, and now he's gone because he's just so high in demand Dude, right now. Dude, he's getting booked all the time. Did you see the um the paparazzi photos with him and that young starlet? Dude, who didn't? I heard that Dan is traveling 
with guns and um, <laughs> what and, and a, a a bulletproof vest <laughs> just in case the FBI and KKK after him. What? <laughs> Yeah, right. and you see like the traditions and the practices. You see the faces and the places, and you're like, "Man, these rolling hills." I'm halfway across the world, but it looks like the rolling hills from you know where I was born, or, or this right. this for me this small town in in you know in Amsterdam looks like the you know the neighborhood that I grew up with grew up in in New York, and like then you're like, "Oh yeah, it was once New Amsterdam." I guess that's why, because it looks just like it you know and you you start to see like the mirrors that are from one place to the other right and one one cool thing for example like i know george in case you guys don't know he was born in new york and gabby has family in new york but when me and link went to new york i am so sorry come out danny edit that out <laughs> if you make a big deal about it it's just gonna still be in the episode right. I'm, so. I'm so sorry I'm editing this when... episode. what what? Oh, Danny boy. It's usually like George, Gabe, Link. But there was like a second one. Is there like an echo after right? George? There's like a dance. Did you go twice, George? I was going to sing the song Danny Boy, but I actually don't know it. It's like a George and then Dan. Dan's here. Oh. Oh, heard- what? you are here. You're literally sitting right here. Hi. Oh, where have you been? New Zealand. I've been worried about you. And I have not been with Ezra Miller, <laughs> by the way. Okay. Oh, but he- and I do not like the good dinosaur. No, you clear that's clearly your Hate favorite. The good dinosaur. You were literally messaging sucks. me. Okay. We try not to I be have negative. to clear my name. All right. You gotta clear your name a lot more. This show's been missing some negativity. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta clear your name a lot more because you 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 got in trouble. Yeah, well, I don't think you actually got in trouble. I think you just made that up. Where were you like- January sixth? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you did mention that. He now, said it. Now that I think about it. Where yes. were you January <laughs> okay. 6th? I was home. I was home. In, in where? Actually, Florida. wait a minute. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, you were in my class on January 6th through a computer. I believe so. Yeah, we actually. I have <laughs> yeah. an alibi. We experienced that. Oh, event. Yeah, you were in class on okay. a computer. Okay. You could have been. Digital background? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of people are doing it you nowadays. You could have been like that guy on TikTok that has a digital background, a green screen behind him, and he goes. He has a contraption where he just yeah, rides a bike. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find all the great places in Miami to take a dump, and I'm going to put <laughs> our sticker in the stall. And that's how you know that. That's it, not bad. And that's how you know that that place is searching for MacGuffin. What is for the okay? But <laughs> what? For I like that. What? You know what? what? We should make it so if someone finds one, they win something. <laughs> they win. What are the hallmarks of a good place to take a dump? Privacy is important, right? Also, the length. So of, a stall. Yes, a stall, obviously, right? <laughs> that's it. Um, the it's length. No, 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 no. The length of the door. Okay, right. Okay. If the door goes all the way to the bottom, perfect. That's a lot of privacy. So right. No one can like get also, you. Also, no, no, like space in between the door and the stall. You get me? Because sometimes so you make really... that awkward eye contact yeah, for people that walk in. Exactly. Oh my goodness, I <laughs> hate that. Right? Like, yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know what they're called. The sheets that you put on the on the toilet. That's a big plus. That's a plus. Oh you yeah, you have. Yeah, that. no, that, that, I don't think that's a plus because that's like unnecessary. That's a, no, yeah. that's. I'm not taking. We the, live in America. I'm not taking. Yeah, I don't have that. Well, no, maybe I'll put some toilet paper. Yeah, but you go like you go like three layers of toilet paper. But I'm I'm chopping. I'm shaving down like three minutes right there. The sheet streamline thing. Yeah, for sure. That. Why does he only get arrested? Why doesn't LaRusso? Why? I mean, not LaRusso. LaRusso actually didn't sneak do anything. But why doesn't Johnny and and Chosen and that other guy? get arrested as well for breaking into this guy's house and they attacking him. The cops don't come to the house. They don't know that that happened. They came to specifically get Silver because of the leaked footage. But the footage wasn't leaked. Yeah, that part I don't know. Have yeah, to so that's why I'm like, it, I'm just trying to understand why he got arrested. But why would they arrest? There's no reason to arrest LaRusso or... What's the other one? Just arrest everyone, man. Just arrest everyone. Take him out of jail and kill the show. So you just want... Police officers to arrest Put people the next with no season, probable the, cause. The next, that's, you, that's a hot take. The next season should you be in jail. You want police officers like Daredevil no season two? They take over into Daredevil prison. season two. That's how the that's how that's how the show should Did be. Did he just say Daredevil season yeah, two? Wait, yeah, what? exactly. What? If you weren't talking over me, you would have heard of that. They should have season two where everyone goes to jail. I mean, the next season everyone goes to jail, and then 
it's they have karate in jail, like in <laughs> Daredevil season two. Everybody went to jail in season two. The main character goes to jail. That's what everyone in Daredevil. Isn't it just Daredevil. Punisher and Fisk? Yeah, yeah. Daredevil's in jail. I'm confusing with the comics as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was super confused. I was confused too. I was like, I, I was like, the Punisher's the main the character Punisher's of Daredevil. The main character of Daredevil. <laughs> they should have season. The next season should be in jail. It really has been, considering that we never actually saw each other that time that we met. Well, we met before, but the time that, because I was alluding to a time that we had uh, interacted before, mm-hmm. it was during the pandemic. I don't know if you remember. I I led a uh, a smash tournament for no oh. reason. Oh, he was in it. I remember. Yeah, I, I think remember. we were all in it. Actually, Everyone was I was in, in that. I but I the, th- the funny thing is that I wasn't in the tournament. That, yeah. I, oh, oh. I remember I, the prize was whoever won got to shake your hand personally, but they had to close their eyes and I mean, yeah. Won. Dan, you were in this tournament too, right? I lost to you. Oh, that's right. It was actually that <laughs> was the worst just five minutes of our lives. Yeah, luckily all the other players weren't spectating the matches for everybody else's bracket because it was literally like me and Dan taking turns like jumping off the cliff. <laughs> like nobody actually got any kills. It was. Like me and Dan, like not knowing how to recover when you fall off the, the old fashioned way. We played it the old fashioned That's way. That's right, right. Felt uh, like sh- the GameCube. Now, the wasn't there another Dr. Doolittle before that? Like Queen Latifah has a Dr. Doolittle, right? Oh my what? goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's called the Equalizer. <laughs> that can't be. Tr- oh my goodness, she is the Equalizer, too. What is the matter with Hollywood? <laughs> But is it, is, there's Latifah. another there's, there's another equalizer now though like not another but I think they're doing a prequel of Queen Latifah the equalizer how does that even make I sense I think she's young I think she's it's, like another it's a pre it's younger. a prequel to the sequel to the remake it's a prequelizer <laughs> a prequelizer I kind of love that sometimes I feel like Hollywood's run out of creative like, names no not the they equalizer is an old name it's like a seventy show yeah That's but they didn't they could have. The movie, there was a two, Equalizer 2, right? Yeah. And it wasn't called a sequelizer. That was a mistake. That, that was, was a mistake. That was a big misstep. How do you right. not like, see the money signs coming from that? They're making yeah. a third one. Welcome to another episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your host, Marty. Peter 2. Peter 3. Commander Erwin Smith. If... If the blood of the Colossal Titan was given to him instead of Armin, because I have both hands instead of... No Spoilers hands. for Attack on Titan, <laughs> no. season wow. three. Well, if you're on season three, where, where, what season did they just finish? Uh, 4.6. Four part three of 4. the 6. final season. The final season, <laughs> oh, the final 20 years season. later. Yeah, part four. Final season doesn't have a number. It's Do you just think called... anyone got that title that we did in the episode? No, I think many people uh-huh. missed it. In fact, I think they just moved on to the next just, episode. Yeah. Because they're like, I'm not going to get part three. If there's... <laughs> Where's part two? These people don't know how to count. Yeah, it's funny because you mentioned fantasy being tied into that medieval period. And I don't even, I don't even think I had made that connection before. Because if you're saying, when did I get into fantasy? Yeah, I'm going to jump into like Lord of the Rings. And I think I saw the animated Lord of the Rings like growing up as a kid. I didn't understand what any of it meant. I read The Hobbit in eighth grade. You talk about like knights and toys. Uh, you know, your father and me had like armies, like entire like legions of soldiers. That was, that was literally it. Like we had the Fisher Price, like full castle sets, full like multiple castles. Different, okay, we had like like three different armies. The only thing different about them was that they were different colors. So that's like how you differentiate the armies. And then it was between playing with those toys, the wrestling toys, and Star Wars toys. Yeah. That was like what I was saying. Three things that you still love now. Exactly. And if you get in and if you get other toys, you find a way to like reconfigure them into those worlds. Dude, it was like (laughs) Fortnite. It was like Fortnite, but like as a kid, just throwing things together and then them fighting each other. Like I had Gandalf fighting um was it Obi Wan? Yeah, and then they were wow. like, "Oh, we're actually friends." There's no know. way around it, right? Yeah, there's no way around it. We sold our soul <laughs> to social media, and now everyone knows our stuff. And I'll tell them, tell them to do it. Now you do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. What is it like? Subscribe. Oh, like, subscribe us. 
Subscribe us. Subscribe to us. Subscribe to us like you subscribe to Twitter verified. Exactly. Give us $8 a month. And guess what? We get a blue, a blue check, check mark. mark. Mm. That's right. Oh, we should have done that before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang it. Yeah, right? We should have got a blue, yeah. blue verified check mark. Hmm. Mm. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Next time. Yeah, next time. Next time, Elon Musk comes up with a dumb idea. We should be out. It will right? be soon, yeah. yeah be <laughs> It'll be. He's trying to make his money back. We gotta tell that story. I guess. Okay, but you tell it since you're I think the, you should, the, I think the you MVP. should tell it because I'm eating. <laughs> nah, I have been eating. Okay. Alright, let me tell you what happened. The chive cream she's very good. Mm. So the summer before this Thanksgiving. Chipotle they get in trouble because their tomatoes have salmonella. So they lost a lot of customers. People died. People died. Chipotle was murdering people with their tomatoes. Murder is a strong word. Subjectively. Manslaughter. Man. Accidental death. Manslaughter is accidental death? No. That sounds worse. You, you get acti- yeah, you get a manslaughter charge for manslaughter accidental death. Manslaughter, manslaughter sounds terrible. like you're doing something worse. Manslaughter is you killed someone. But murder is with intent to kill. Hmm. It should be the opposite. Why does it sound so much worse? Yeah. <laughs> Because you did, because you took a life, but murder, like, you planned it. You can't just say you murdered someone by accident. Manslaughter sounds like it was just <laughs> the worst possible yeah. way to go. You're Just slaughtering someone. That's because the media has desensitized you to the term murder. Hmm. Sure. Anyways, I'm not thankful for that. We got to tell that story. I guess. I gave you tell it since you're... I you're think the, you, should, the, I think the you MV- should tell it because I'm eating. <laughs> nah, I have been eating. Okay. All right, let me tell you what happened. The chive cream cheese is very good. Mm. So, the summer before this Thanksgiving, Chipotle, they get in trouble because their tomatoes have salmonella, so they lost a lot of customers. People died. People died. Chipotle was murdering people with their tomatoes. Murder is a strong word. Subjectively. Manslaughter, Man. accidental death. Manslaughter is accidental death? No. That sounds worse. You, you get acti- yeah, you get a manslaughter charge for manslaughter accidental death. Manslaughter, manslaughter sounds terrible. like you're doing something worse. Manslaughter is you killed someone, but murder is with intent to kill. Hmm. It should be the opposite. Why does it sound so much worse? Yeah. Because <laughs> you, you took a life, but murder like, you planned it. You can't just say you murdered someone by accident. <laughs> manslaughter sounds like it was just <laughs> the worst possible yeah. way to go. You're just slaughtering someone. That's because the media has desensitized you to the term murder. Hmm. Sure. Anyways, I'm not thankful for that. I don't think, I think football is a great sport. And Ted I think, Lasso greater than World Cup. I think our country, Colombia, has a deep, rich tradition with football and its no, we didn't significance. Make it. We didn't I, make it. They're dead to me. Yeah, we didn't make it because Qatar bought their way into the uh, World Cup. But that's another, that's another topic oh boy. for another day. Mm. We don't want to get political here, yeah. but they may have, you know, been accused of trying to bribe to win their first game. You guys heard about this? Yeah. Dan, I you don't know? know. Yeah. Apparently they like offered several players millions of dollars to throw the first game. Allegedly. Don't come after me, Qatar and whoever runs your government. Anyways. Probably be their, uh... no, nah, it wouldn't be me. I was going to say social media manager. <laughs> that would be Lay. Lay would be, be great lay. at yeah, that. That'd be oh. lay. Why does a heist need a social media manager? To distract. Because uh, you want to be, yeah. Oh, we're on the thaw. Psych. Psych, this is a green screen. <laughs> we're on Bobani. Um, we're in Exigo. I think Exigo. Exigo. <laughs> I would not want to be in that planet at all. I hate that movie. <laughs> I hate. That movie. Um, Talk about things that just make you depressed. (laughs) For real. Oh, my God. Never watch that right before you have to study. Can't wait till we do an entire episode. I would try one day. I'll try to be... I think I'd just try to convince Luke to teach me. Mm. You would be the... you'd be be the pot of one. You'd be broom boy. Yeah. You'd you'd be the next broom boy. Only this time, it won't lead to nothing. It won't lead to nothing. So it'll lead to something. Okay. All right. Double negatives. Math is hard. Oh, really quick. Talking about leading to nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> what a transition. 
I do think, and I was telling Nanny about this one. I think the one director who, in my opinion, like his art, his work would work would fit in like in a glove for a Studio Ghibli movie mm-hmm. is a Wes Anderson movie. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. would actually that work would be the I one of the most adorable, perfect. yeah, like yeah. most adorable thing ever. Yeah. Like, and I mean, I mean, Ponyo is kind of about this girl in the sea, right? Imagine a uh, Life Aquatic with Steve Zuzu. <laughs> yeah, but Ghibli. But Ghibli. Or like Grand Budapest. Ghibli. Grand Budapest oh, Ghibli, so right? Good. Or or Moonrise Kingdom, but more like oh, with the kids. kids yeah. yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, Darjeeling Limited. Wes so. Anderson, if you're listening to this, yeah. Or please Ghibli. script their uh, Mandalorian finale <laughs> because I don't have time. That see now <laughs> that would be very interesting. You have Wes Anderson scripting a Mandal- <laughs> a Star Wars movie animated by studio ghibli that uh, wow i would upgrade my disney plus to 20 dollars a month if, if they <laughs> created that yeah. i don't know why they don't create you know start having Just all these crossovers all these crossovers right? yeah man i think batman might be the real man without fear then that's who i am the batman no or the, no, no. Oh. no no i won't i like my parents <laughs> yeah. I think I think Batman likes his parents too. Yeah, but they died. I can't have my parents die just so for, just for me to become Batman. Don't, uh, sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Nope, not for me. <laughs> okay, well that's that's one way to live your life. Loving my parents, not wanting my parents to die. Yet. Yeah, that's selfish. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miami, that I don't want to become your Dark Knight. Because I don't want my parents to die. We forgive you. The Eighth Street Crusader. <laughs> <laughs> I'd read that book. Man, that actually sounds like a good book. Let's let's create that. Let's do it. Let, or sh- you know, you can let AI now write stories for you. Oh, okay. You Should we let AI write the story for us? Now that AI can create art, I'm finally gonna become an artist. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna look. Look what I did. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, who really would do that? Really great for my art degree. Yeah. I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I love that. You're going to, by the time you're done, it's just going to be like, <laughs> yeah. we don't hire people anymore. Um, My number five is also on HBO Max, and that is The Banshees of Inisharan. Oh, okay. What this- the heck? <laughs> <laughs> that was dangerously close <laughs> to something that would have a smart you can say that episode. i don't um, think he can but let's let's not do that no because again. in the movie yeah. there's a difference between fe and fu and yeah. i thought maybe fe was like the heck version you know saying it's hell i don't heck. i don't think so that's just how they talk that's yeah. literally how they talk oh, okay is but, it like but, adding e after the s word like i don't think i don't know it, man i don't but, think it makes it but a it's not this it's not a curse word because oh. the other one is sure okay so why 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 this movie make your list um uh, yeah, the scale yeah. is on the right hand side. Yeah, except for one thing that they don't have in school, which I think they should implement. They actually should now that yeah. Uh, so whatever you know, B is an eighty to an eighty nine, A is a ninety to ninety nine. The one thing I think they should like actually start putting is S for one hundred. Can't imagine getting an S rank on a test. <laughs> Bro, you get an S, like, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm That's what I'm gonna call it. I, think most I, would, yeah. I think people should do that in schools. They're gonna get S rank 100. percent I mean, That's that would it. sound way cooler, but then I would be way more sad about getting an A. <laughs> okay, can I um show my age here and ask what is the origin of the S rank? Like, why is it S? Monka S. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. <laughs> Only Nicholas is gonna get that. <laughs> so the 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 first. He doesn't even listen to our <laughs> show. Watch our show. Crystal Bay. Crystal Bay is like a clear soda, basically, that comes in like raspberry flavors or lemon lime flavor. And it's it was just like, crap. they sell them in bottles, or they did back Why then. Do you look like that. You look like what? <laughs> right, he turns like this. <laughs> you got me in my head about my posture. <laughs> Now I can't loosen up. You know, some people listen to this show, right? So they have no idea. <laughs> okay. Hold on. If you're hearing a bunch of crashing, it's because our producer has never, I've never physically been, been on set <laughs> until today. It's like Bubble Boy getting out of the bubble. Yeah. And if you're not listening to a bunch of crashing, it's because our producer is really good and he edited it all out after. It all depends on him, really. Yeah. I think he's testing. <laughs> I'm his, not editing. He's challenging it. himself. Are yeah. you putting your hands up like a mime? Like if you're trapped <laughs> in a box? I'm, what bu- is I'm Bubble Boy. <laughs> That's not... He's I, flabbergasted. He doesn't know. I miss my I miss my cue to, to welcome the show. We were we were just talking. I thought I didn't know we were rolling. 
We're always rolling. That is true. Keep rolling, 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 Team Sting all the way. This. You know he's doing a tour of Japan. Well, Sting is touring Japan. Yeah, he's gonna play all the hits. Every breath you take. I'm an alien. I'm a legal alien. I'm an Englishman in New York. What's the name of that song? English man English in New, man New York. York. English muffin in New York. Okay. English Mick McGuffin in New York. Ah. Ah. Or make, we... Making that into a sticker. <laughs> Sting singing. Do you ever, uh, <laughs> do you ever like, wonder what's going on with time? Sporting event that we've had recently is, is the World Cup that just passed. Oh, did that just year. happen? Yeah. Did you catch any of it? I caught a lot of it because really? it was during school time. Um, <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> so it was like um, it was it was both the most annoying, but also kind of like heartwarming thing yeah. because it was just like kids constantly like, "Can we watch the game?" No, we actually have class. Can we watch the game? No, we have like you have a test. Did you not study? Oh, I stayed up. I was watching the game. And all your students sound like this? Yeah, like yeah, all of them. They all sound like this. Um, but then it gets to the point where it's like, "Can we watch the game?" And I was like, "It's Friday. I'm tired." Yeah, let's just watch the game. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. why not? It's like, oh, you uh, today's classwork after the reading, it's homework now. If you want to watch the last thirty minutes of the game, yeah. so, um, so it was nice, kind of like bonding. It was annoying. Like I think I confiscated the most phones ever mm-hmm. in the history <laughs> of any period. But then there was this one day that was like a long week, and we had assembly, and everybody was tired. You could just see it, you like could see it, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it was like around midterms time or what, but just it, everyone was exhausted. And then the game was on like before assembly started and then it just kept playing. And then that's just what assembly was. And like everybody got super into it. Do you remember who was playing? It was Brazil. Yeah. It was Brazil versus, uh, I don't remember who it was. Did the Brazil win or Brazil? Yeah, Brazil won. Yeah, Brazil oh. won. Yeah. And, uh, it but- was the best assembly. Like, Yep. You can call me lover boy. Well, this week's topic is val is VD, right? Yes, baby. The v- other VD. Venereal disease. <laughs> no, not that one. Van Dam. Van Dam. Not that one either. You're thinking really hard about a third VD. Do you know a third VD? Um, I don't know. Something about veterans. Van Diesel. Oh, Diesel? that's what you're gonna. Vin, Vin Diesel. Diesel! <laughs> Cut it. Family. Sell this episode That's to it. Quibi. Quibi. That's it. Quibi. Quibi. I, How many I, million do we get? I need Brittany Granger back by Christmas. <laughs> Griner? Griner. No, no. Granger. Griner. I don't know her last name. By no, by Griner? Valentine's. By, by Valentine's, Valentine's, Day. Valentine's Day. We need her back by Valentine's Day. So is she here? If she's already she here, back. send her back to Russia. <laughs> Let her come right before. <laughs> All right. So. You want to rap? Yo, listen. <laughs> My name is Linky D. I'm in a podcast uh. with Gabriel G. And That's, uh, George uh, mm-hmm. That's E. My name. We are talking about Ant-Man, the smallest man, who's also the biggest uh. and tallest man. Yeah. He's in the movie. Uh-huh. You should check it out because he's played by Paul Rudd. Hey man, that's capitalism right to there. To the point where like there was a guy who would normally go Yeah, Pizza Dave. Pizza went out Dave. Of business. And this shout guy out would, Pizza Dave. This guy we love was you, like, Pizza Dave. Do we love Pizza Dave? <laughs> I mean Pizza Dave was like a sketchy character, man. He was sketchy, but you just had to outsmart Pizza Dave. You can love sketchy people. See I mean he brought pizza, but also like I think he would do the same thing. But also him. allegations of assault. Oh, he just <laughs> looked like I don't that's know. the kind of sketchy you probably That's kinda of weird. However, if you waited kind of until late at night and he if you wait until until late at night and he still had pizza, he would sell it for half price. Oh yeah, you'd you'd have to really? like haggle with him. Yeah. Well, you gotta respect the guy that looks like he does meth, but it's, instead of being called Meth Dave, he's called Pizza, pizza Dave. Dave. Yeah. He, he was able to pivot the gimmick. Yeah, it's a rebranding, baby. Yeah, that's pretty good. The whole marketing team behind that. And um, maybe he's just Meth Dave now. <laughs> oh, I hope not. I hope he's he did well. I hope he's in recovery, Dave. I hope he did. Well. <laughs> I hope he did well during the pandemic. That's true. Oh, the the probability of that. Pizza <laughs> Dave, wherever you are, 
the probability speaking I miss of probabilities you. what's the probability we get back on track and then i keep on traveling in the next few weeks as well so oh, that's right where are you headed next going to nicaragua and doesn't stop seriously i'm gonna Just living the life i'm gonna go help out in an orphanage over there wow uh-huh. yeah i'm gonna help them out i'm gonna maybe adopt some kids no, Actually, if you get any information about adoptions, can you just bring it back? Yeah, yeah. We'll see. For a friend. All right, adopt some. Maybe tease that I'm going to adopt some of them. <laughs> for their, uh, just for their approval to see what happens. Maybe they'll help you build yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll, I, want them to, I want them fighting for my love. So let's see. <laughs> I think it's going to be a reality show. Who wants to be my next son? <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, that actually sounds like a real reality show. <laughs> yeah, it like does. That, that, I wouldn't put it past like ABC. Watch yeah. next week; they're gonna announce something. Yeah. Another degree, am I saying like, you know, just rub some dirt in it and get over it, and like pick on up and get over Why it? Why would you rub some dirt in it? That would cause an infection. Yeah. Well, that's the saying. I don't know. Right? <laughs> is, that's a thing, right? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. This is the first I've heard of it. Rub, you know, just rub just, some. If dirt you in. get like hurt or something, and you just like rub some dirt in it and just get up. And I've never on. heard that before in my life. You are. There's no way you haven't. I have. I. It's. It's been in pop. It's been in many TV shows and films. Rub some dirt in it. Yeah. That sounds like really bad advice. Like, it is bad advice. Okay, but so why is everybody giving it? I don't know. Rub some dirt. Is that some a thing that they once did like historically? Did. No, I don't know. Well, have we gotta no look idea. it up. Yeah, that's weird. Is it weird that I haven't heard? I must have, right? You had to. Okay, can you name one specific like reference or where have you heard? A specific reference? Man, yeah. you're really putting me on the spot here. All right, we're going to. Guys. Yes. I want to congratulate both of you. And Gabriel. Okay. And Dan, producer Dan. Oh. And me. Congratulate me as well. Okay, congratulations, Link. What are we congratulating? Because we are Oscar winners. Did you know that? You're on right. Sunday, you, all of us, won an Oscar. Mm, how so? How so? Well, Jamie Lee Curtis said, if you supported her, one of her genre films, okay. you, does, you won an Oscar with her as well. And as I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone here in this podcast supported everything, everywhere, all at once. Like emotionally or like bought a ticket? or Both. Okay. We, we, we're all Oscar winners. Also, I love Freaky Friday. We didn't, trying to find a way to transition. I was going to say, we didn't plan a segue into this week's topic. Sometimes we just give up and we're just like, this week we're talking about... Is it going to be one of those weeks? or This week we're talking about fungus. That's <laughs> right. Because we're just a bunch yeah. of fun guys. Right? For our viewers. Gabe oh, yeah. Pointed I... to himself. No, you, you can do that. That's Ooh. fine. I explain yeah, it. I'm the voice. You don't have to say, I point. <laughs> yeah. It's... Gabe points at himself. That's what that's my job. That's what I'm the narrator. You are the protagonist and I am the narrator. Have you ever had like randomly like on your like on your TVs fungus? The, no. The <laughs> Well, yes, we all have these past couple of weeks. Yeah. Um I got a word that just won't go away. Did you say that out loud? Yeah, well, because I don't think it's a word. I think it's a blister actually. It's okay, a blister that just hardens. A word is an ugly word. Time travel. Yeah, right. time travel. All right. So he gave us he went to Japan, right? And brought us some gifts. And everyone got cool gifts. Gabriel got this. Uh, what is? What do you call oh, this? Oh, we're just going to spoil the I gift? Got, no? I got a ninja star. And it's going to hit different when, they un- yeah. when you unwrap it. I didn't get a ninja star. I got this bounty. And I got <laughs> something in here, a mystery gift. Yeah. And when I opened it, it was a boob oh, oh, keychain. You're, you're just going to say the it? Gift. It was <laughs> a boob keychain. <laughs> okay. And it was wonderful. It was, You know, it looked nice, right? Very, what? Very realistic. Um, um, how would you know? And <laughs> silence. <laughs> and I was like, "Wow, what a great gift from Japan!" And Gabriel got jealous that he didn't get a boob. <laughs> All he got was a weapon. Well, I got a sex toy. Oh, well, uh, I don't. I don't know what that can is. Can you say that? Nah, I'm not I'm, sure. We'll I find out. If we get yeah. okay. But I know there's like a wacky Japanese game, Captain something or other Nintendo or Captain something. Captain New Japan. No, no, not that mm-hmm. one. But where they like do like a where. Birdo's not allowed to like use the restroom, and you have to go like on, <laughs> you have to go like on a mission to like use the restroom. Give rights to Birdo, yeah. Oh, that's... oh, what? I Wait, I want to play, play that, that game. game. Yeah, <laughs> All right, you got to stream that game once you find it. I think it's for the Wii, and it was oh, Japan it's... only. Oh. So. 
Oh, I gotta or, go to Japan. Or you, um, maybe you can, can emulate, emulate it, it yeah, yeah. with translation. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Emulation. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your host, George, Gabe, and our very special guest today, a good friend, Jeremy, and his guitar. That's right. I don't think I have a name for it. You don't? Actually, I might, I might, I think I call it like the white knight because of Oak oh, and mic. Because it smashes through. Oh, that's actually so kind of cool. You have that it in the back. It has a little engraved uh, oh, Batman. Honestly, that for, what are those things? So this is like a tremolo, so it allows me to control how much of the bridge I want to bend upwards or down. Dude, I saw it at the back. I thought it was like the batteries were like the rock band <laughs> guitar. <laughs> I was like, are, yeah, you, actually, are you playing an actual guitar? He plays a rock band guitar. He, I, I play yeah, a rock he band He formatted the... He, turned, he retrofitted the, Yeah, he retrofitted a rock band. It's not me on stage. Guitar. I just put all the MIDI notes and it plays it for me. Nice. So... I remember that year was a big year for trade paperbacks and hardcovers because that's the year that I got like the Frank Miller Visionaries and those were like out of print, but they had them there. Some guy had them and he either didn't know what he had or and I got them real cheap and I started just collecting like on my bookshelf to have them. Was that the year that you drew um, a phallic symbol on my brother's face? <laughs> yes, 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 So now yes, you remember. Now I remember. <laughs> On the way, bro. Was it? You uh, are you talking about me? <laughs> yeah. Was it? I love that you were like you were the only one who had no recollection. Was it? Pon- it was Ponderosa next to the yes. Ripley's Believe It Upside Down House. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you drew that on his face with a sharp. <laughs> Is this gonna be now? On the I podcast? remember you there. Yeah. No, you gotta edit this. Out. That's that's all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I oh, doesn't listen. No, it was the funniest thing because it was like. It was on his face, and he did not he realize did not. it. Oh, no. now and I we remember. Go, we, go and we go inside the restaurant. Yes. And the people, like, serving him just looking at Oh, us. yes. That's... And then the cashier was just, like, staring at him. <laughs> and she got mad. She got mad at us. She was like, who did that to you? She thought it was us, too. Because it'd be something like... Oh, just little kids. Kid. Yeah. It, was a, it was a college student that oh, did Bro, I remember he was so pissed. Yes, he was mad. He was yes, so he was pissed. Mad. I love that his his payback was he, when he went to the bathroom, he put salt on your orange juice. <laughs> on who's on mine? No, on no. oh. <laughs> and I thought, oh, that 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 it, it, balanced, even now. It, it balanced the scale. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. A salty mouth while I was talking to Darwin Cook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Darwin, uh, uh, oh. Your dream was ruined. <laughs> I realized that I had one thing to do, and that was play Jedi Survivor. Oh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, the Seeker, the se- what did the I just seeker. say? The, the seeker, seeker of Fallen Order, <laughs> yes. the Seeker of Fallen Order. Uh, my favorite game, Star Wars Jedi. What is it? Star Wars colon Jedi colon Fallen Order. Colon. Yeah. No. What do you mean? No. That's wow. So many colons. Yeah. We should check for colon cancer. <laughs> because it has be... multiple colon. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long did it take you to beat that game, by the way? Three and a half years. Why? That was a bit out of character. But he had a tantrum against Ego. That's his father, That's though. his father. He just met him. That killed his so? mother. And this is Gamora's father. Okay, you're telling me it's okay to have a tantrum and blow your father's head off? But not your father-in-law, because millions of people will disagree with you. Did my father did, kill my mom? Did your father-in-law kill your girlfriend? Like, no, but you were going to, so. He took that from you, and then he did it himself. They were going to do it anyways. He ruined the plan that they had. But I, do, I, don't, I agree with that, because I didn't like that they did that. I mean, it was his plan, which is what I'm saying. Like, yeah. It's his plan. He knows what happens if they lose. But he didn't expect Gamora to be dead. And with that being said, he probably should have, to be honest. I think that the part I don't like is the fact that they milk that scene. So, where they're about to, it's like glove off fingertips, and literally everyone is telling him, no, don't do it. Calm down, Peter. Calm down. The fact that you have like five or six people telling you, yeah. then it makes it stupid because, like, you have people talking you off the cliff and you still jump. Yeah, I guess, I guess this is the time. Today we're going to talk about everybody's favorite film, 
the fast and the fr- I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got me there. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if I just switch? Like I have a whole album. If you switch it, it, yeah. I mean, I would roll with it, right? <laughs> you I think yes, we could I'd yes, I'd yes and everything. Thing, yeah. yeah. In I, fact, that should be our Fast and the Furious. Oh, uh, oh let's do it. Just us pretend, thinking Pre- we watched the movie, right? Yeah, because I haven't. And yeah, me neither. No one has, right? Have you, Here? Danny? No, no. I, there's no way I'm okay. going to watch that. So that's what we're going to do then, right? Wait, can we commit to this then? Can we miss it through its entire theatrical window? Yeah. Okay. Avoid good. spoilers at all costs. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Perfect. so let's let's cue that up for next month. Let's do a Fast and the Furious uh, episode based on completely nothing. But one thing that we have dedicated a considerable amount of time to is the newest chapter in the Legend of Zelda series titled. I was kind of laying it up for you to say a link. Oh, OK. I know. I, I looked right at you. Oh, I'm looking at the camera. Oh, OK. It's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so used because Gabriel's here. That's right. And when Gabriel's here, he blocks you. So I can't <laughs> so, see you. So, so I look I'm, at I'm invisible. The, to yeah, you. exactly. Yeah. So I look at the camera, I look at Danny. So I don't really see. I got. I guess I gotta look, be looking at you. Now I'm looking at the camera. Realize I didn't brush my hair before we started. Mm. Okay. But like you the, have to. You don't fight the orc. <laughs> you talk to them. No, no. You just talk the whole time. You're just talking. That's it. What? Yeah. That's it. That's the whole game. This is what yeah. you wanted me and Link to like launch our Twitch game. stream. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like it's like a dating simulator. <laughs> Golden pretty thing. much yeah they should have called it that. that's what they should have called it yeah, yeah. they would have sold finding Golden my pr- like... finding my precious <laughs> i'm dead that's <laughs> trademark that, that. Trademark. yeah that is good. finding Tra- my precious trademark that. oh wow but yeah <laughs> the super Golden disappointing day. the studio came out we should have made that apology for making the game so yeah that that's how bad it is they you, apologized you know but i didn't meet a friend as I was the game, as as I was watching the game, I'm there in the, I don't know what to call it, like this very small sports room, and then in comes this guy, <laughs> like at two in the morning. <laughs> it sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> two I don't know what to call it. The very small sports, sports room. room. <laughs> in comes this guy at three in the morning, like he sits down next to me and my friend, and I'm like, okay, I guess. And he goes <laughs> and he starts talking to us. Um, we ended, I ended up becoming good friends with him. He's from. Dubai, <laughs> Dubai. I ended up becoming very good friends with him. He's from. He's from Dubai, right? <laughs> and his name was Mohammed, but the way you pronounce his name is Hamid. So, for those of you guys that don't know how to pronounce Mohammed, it's Hamid. Um, and he let me call him his Habibi. So every time I saw him no on way. the cruise, yeah, every time I saw him on the cruise, I'd be like, Habibi, come over here. And I think I did something that was culturally insensitive. A not, faux pas. I didn't know. It was a faux pas. I didn't know. You get me? I'm not. Yeah. I don't really hang out with many Muslim people. So my knowledge of Muslim etiquette is, is not. Is, a, well, you should have watched Miss Marvel. I should have watched Miss <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> I, the, my, only, my only knowledge of Muslim people is the show Rami. Right? Muslim culture. That's all I know. So this guy is there. He's with his wife. So I fist bump him. Right? Oh, like, what? hey, my friend, how are you? And like, Habibi. So then his wife is there, right? So I'm like, all right, let me be, let me be uh, courteous to her as well. So I fist bump her. <laughs> like, I go to fist bump his wife. He and goes she, to fist his wife. Yeah. And she's like, and I'm like, oh. And, and for those listening, he. She, I, I, she like waved her hand as like, no, no, thank you. Right. And I'm like, oh, no, oh, I felt so bad. Yeah. The and then I looked time. at him and I'm like, all right. Welcome to another episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your host, Oppenheimer, Ken, and Barbie. This is the summer spectacular, the summer movie spectacular. We're, we're here to discuss the movies. Hey, where's your cigarette? I feel but, like you need a cigarette. I'm not legal. Uh, you're, it's like, I think it's a Twitch violation. Oh, you can't? Okay, yeah? Yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah. So, we're here to look at the movies that have come and that are coming in the months of June and July. Don't look at me like that. It's Pride Month, baby. So It was. It's over now. And she was here because she was on vacation for, and then she was going to go back to the country in Africa. To she the Peace in. Corps. Yeah, to the Peace Corps. Nice. That's a cool, that's a cool that's, job. That's a nice interaction. Is. Yeah. You know what? I am proud of you. 
I'm you proud can. of you for, yeah, for taking that's that step. Yeah, you put yourself out there. I did. And let me tell you, this girl is freaking beautiful. I was like, no way You're I talked human. to that and got her Instagram. And that's hey, it. hey, but, hey. Yeah, like, hey. No, no. Well, Confident. What are you talking about? Yeah. Of course you got her Instagram. Of course, yeah. What are you talking about? None of that Come negative on, self-talk man. here. Come on. I love you guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> if you were next to me, I'd give you hugs and kisses. I'm going to give one to Gabriel. Thank you. Thank you. Um, That's my update. I am, I am proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. On, the, on that note. Welcome to another episode of Searching for McGuffin with your host, George. Dan. Threw you off there, huh? Gabe. And Link. <laughs> <laughs> off to a great start. That threw me off. Why are you such an agent of chaos? Because yeah. sometimes you need to be. Honestly, my life is so order and structure. I mean... And is that a? That's, I don't mean that as a flex. I mean that as like it came I'm, off as a flex. The, the constraints of my life and and my schedule are yeah, but tying a noose around my neck. Us um, people that don't have order and structure need order and structure. So when we have order and structure, you can't ruin it. I think I'm just taking advantage of the fact that you don't have a lot of order and structure right now, as much as you are going to have in the next coming weeks. That is true. Yeah. Okay. If they're not hitting on all cylinders. What is it that we can do to make them meaningful again? Because they have meaning. You know, this show has meaning. My career has meaning. Our relationships have meaning. So when some of them start to either decay or decrease, evaluating that and finding the meaning and attaching that meaning and just kind of muscling down and, and prioritizing things, you know, always making sure that you find balance. And that balance in the force to me is for that light side to overcome that dark side, you know, rather than the, the yin and yang of it all. Yeah, I think that was just an excuse to to make Grey Jet as a thing and to, to yeah. make it cool, so. Yeah, okay, that's fair, too, yeah. Um, That quote that you shared reminds me of that quote at the end of Batman Begins, where he tells Rachel, it isn't who you are inside, but what you do that, that defines, defines you. you. And like, she, he tells it back to her that she told him that earlier and that's so the opposite of i think the message we hear often it's it's what's inside that matters it's who you are inside and in reality you could be you can be kind-hearted you could be you know you know passionate all those things whatever it is pick your you know personality trait but if you don't do something with it you're not really that thing you're you're only that which you experience and if that experience exists only in your mind and not in the real f physical world, then what's the point? Like, yeah. what is it? Like, why? <laughs> what's the point of any of it? Yeah, like, having like a million great ideas doesn't mean anything if you don't actually do the work. And, 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 and if you can create one thing, it's better than having a million like ideas. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> I just think it'd be like, if you're going to come with, just give them okay, Cuban so names. Okay, so... They're Santeros. That's from Macbeth, Santero. right? Those are the witches from Macbeth? The weird sisters are the, the witches. Weird? From Macbeth. Like yeah. they are weird? Yeah. I think it's where we get the word, actually. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. The three witches. What were their names? I don't I don't know if they have individual names. Which sounds stupid of me. Yami. Yami Bell. I literally <laughs> get out of here. Those are the names up what there. What did you say? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look up. Yami Look up. Bell. Yami. No, maybe. <laughs> What's the other one? Uh... Yami Bell. That's, uh, that's my sister. You lazy? You lazy. <laughs> You're smarty. Uh, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on to something here. I'm glad we oh, no, to I'm no. Attack these okay. five yeah. not, not from Macbeth. <laughs> 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 the, the, the three fates. Day? Yeah, man. If I can go twice, tw two or three times, it's a good day. Would you say that that's so, something every day is a good day? Every day is a good day. Right, right. Every, every, there are no bad days. Every there day are is a no good bad day. days. Okay. Would you say that that's uh, something that you like to do to, you know, relax, wind I, down? I really do. After work, I like to go home. Go to get on the toilet, take my phone, and depending on the day of the week, I will be doing research on my fantasy football team. And it's a good 30 minutes there. Then I, I clean myself, and then I get up, and then my circulation is gone, so I fall straight to my knees. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how I expected that experience to end. And then I'm in there for like a few minutes, get my, the blood flowing. 
wash my hands. <laughs> You're just groping yeah. around <laughs> the bathroom like, oh, the toilet paper is coming down on your face. Yeah, I'm using you pull them, the I'm towel. trying to yeah. pull the towel. But it's it like a Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like a Keystone Cops. You just, yeah. You grab onto the shower faucet and it sprays all over you. It is. <laughs> You're wrapped in the bath towel on the floor. It is. Well, that's a perfect segue transition to our topic today of self-care. Hey, how do you feel about Miles Morales being Cuban? <laughs> Puerto, <laughs> Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but he's Cuban now, though. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, what do you mean I, he's Cuban, bro? No way. <laughs> so, oh, I think I think I there's a it. suit. There's a suit in the game that has like supposed to have the Puerto Rican flag. No, no, no. The the suit does have the Puerto Rican flag, which is why it doesn't make sense. Oh, there's a, I thought it was a flag. No, so it's a flag in his house and outside the house too. So it's like in two different places. They, instead of putting the Puerto Rican flag up, they put the Cuban, the Cuban flag, flag. Yeah, on the wall. On the wall. On the wall. Right. <laughs> I didn't. Wait. I didn't peep that. Yeah, yeah. So they messed up because they put the wrong flag. Yo, Cuban Miles Morales, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that could be you. <laughs> That's crazy. So basically, it's like uh, uh, they made the same mistake that my sixth graders do on Hispanic heritage. By putting the wrong flag. Yeah. And these people are Hispanic, these sixth graders of yours. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But they're not Cuban or Puerto Rican. They're just assigned that country, so. A warning that if you are going to watch this movie, which is very powerful and profound, make sure that the theater you are in is not next to Dolby. It's not next to Adobe that's playing Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift <laughs> because you're going to hear the Taylor Swift songs and the Swifties singing as you're watching this deep movie. It's kind Oh man! Oh, I mean, you're going for a concert, so I guess I yeah, keep no, no, yeah, that makes sense. But I thought that was hilarious. That is, I mean, it's true. But we don't have to worry about that because they're pretty far. Yeah, the IMAX is as far. Oh, There's still an IMAX. Do you want to go tomorrow? No, I'm not going this week. I we have can't to go, go the during the week. During the weekend. <sighs> what Saturday look like for you? I'm not here. Where are you oh, going? That's right. Generationally defining, it was. Yeah, it's no. the kids who watch Friends, you know, in Seinfeld now. Like they might get it. But they won't never truly get no, it. because yeah. because the 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 hold that the Marvel Cinematic Universe had when it was turning out banger after banger after banger in a cohesive story that was building up to something. It's art, man. And you are th- like you are putting pe- and this is like you know TV was having its moment short, but movies just were that everything that Marvel was, everything. was movies yeah yeah because okay so tv was on the rise where we're like we can tell better stories there but marvel was that one benchmark that's like you can't do what they're doing on film on television nothing yeah television's you, too yeah. small like for the it. reason i go to movies i mean not the entire but like my mindset at the time was the reason that i go to the movie theater is to watch these blockbuster yeah movies. to be blown this away this is the blockbuster movie and to be in a room full of people and to just have that re- that initial reaction mm-hmm. for that and to have it consistently for years. And that's the thing. I think the gist of it is that it well, was... Well, you're marking your calendar around them. It was yeah. it was building to something. And you could tell that it was building something. And the tension was mounting. And there's so many things where you have this chase, you have this climb. And so many times... Like, we got a lot of it in TV shows and, you know, some, in, in films too, where... A lot of projects do not stick the landing. They fall short. Game of Thrones is one of those things where it's building and building and it's like taking over the whole world. Uh, we could go on and on like a laundry list. Exactly. Mm. But the like the phases one through three with what like maybe two or three like films that weren't weak out of what, 24, that 25? Weak, mm-hmm. That ends in Infinity War and Endgame. For it to stick the landing like that and blow like because yes, we have high expectations, but that blew my mind. And not even just you know watching those films because you can watch those movies back and sure they're still fun to watch and great to watch and especially like you know in sequence. But you will never be able to replicate the reactions of watching that opening mm. night or even two to it, three weeks after the re- the rewatch. You will never get those heights again. I'm glad you brought up that you've been kind of busy. It's nice for the holidays to come along and kind of slow things down mm, yeah. because has anybody else felt like this year has been like insanely, I don't, I don't even know what the word is. I feel like it's been two years in one. Hectic. Hectic. Yeah. You know, rap a dash. That's a Pokemon. <laughs> no one can hear you, Link. That's a Pokemon. <laughs> there you go. Is that really a word? I knew you had him like a headset, Mike. No, I don't. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's, 
I think it just plugs right into that one. No, the reason why I'm struggling is because I'm eating. You get me? I can't mm-hmm. eat and hold the mic at the same time. That's fair. I'm usually a, more of a pro. Maybe if you had, you know, an arm, you know, that held your mic up to your mouth. That was a possibility. That's what he's famous yeah, for. Yeah, man. CM Punk was a was an idol, right? He was an icon, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. And but like he was an icon for, you know, being a certain type of way. Listen, listen. As a great man once wrote, you either die a hero, which he did seven years ago, eight now, nine, or you live long enough to become the villain. To see yourself become the villain. Mm. And here we are. The Batman of professional wrestling. Whoa, whoa, or the Two Face. I'm the sorry. Yeah, the Harvey Dent. No, the, 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 hope, the great hope for Gotham. We thought he was the Batman, but the he's white the Knight. Or White Knight. Yeah. <sighs> yes. He returned to WWE. That's what he did. That In was the Survivor so wrong. Series, right? For Thanksgiving, after just you know, so getting fired, trashing that company, getting fired from a com- another company twice. Actually, some interesting information came up. I guess I can share this with you guys now. Um, turns out the doctor that he sued oh, for, for almost AW. killing him, WWE, no, still works in WWE right yeah. now. So now he works with the guy that sued him for defamation because of what he said in that podcast about. Him basically being negligent and almost getting him killed during his time in WWE. Additionally, apparently Punk reached out to WWE. It's speculated, rumored, before he signed with AEW. So he was going to try to go back. He was going to try to leverage that. All right, Tony I think that's where we end this show. Punk's a piece of crap. <laughs> okay. I think you should say it. You never say it. Okay. Nah, I never say it. <clears> hmm. <throat> Fix my nose hair. Yeah, take like your time. Bothering me, yeah. Do your thing. We have no rules. Man. No rules. Welcome back to another episode of Searching for your MacGuffin with your hosts, Gabe and Link. I looked at the wrong camera at That's first. Actually like, <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the wrong camera because I'm used to being on your side. So oh, I'm off. my side now? Yeah. It's our side. It's our side. That's but true. Now you're on that side. Now I'm on this side. For those of you that cannot see what's going on because you are listening to us. I forget that. What are you doing? First you of doing? all. Yeah. Watch us on. I mean, Spotify is a great platform, but like. But um, because cause he was mostly raised here. Yeah. No, I mean, my mom has good style for a woman. Yeah. For a man. It's just like. Although she has gotten me some nice shirts for Christmas. I like those shirts. She gives them to you. To me, she gives like anything she sees at, like BJ's or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> it works for me. Maybe you should give me her clothes. Are we the same size? Probably. Not her clothes, but the clothes she gives no, you. No, I'll give you her clothes. Oh. Here's a couple of dresses I think you can sl- <laughs> yeah. you know, fit into. Maybe I can wear some of her bras. Could be. Mm. <laughs> I have a picture of that, actually. Of me wearing your... No. You, no. Of a bra. You wearing a bra. Was it my sister's? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when my brother got married. Um, After the wedding, they my dad brought the wedding dress. Mm-hmm. And I was... um to the house and he left it on the, the sofa and i was playing like a few d- days later i was playing call of duty yeah. and the dress was there and i was like hmm so i put it Where's on this going i put on the wedding dress and let me tell you it looked fantastic on me mm. i was 18 at the time and it looked fantastic <laughs> well it was thank good. you for everything that you do and cook and make for us i appreciate it for free oh the end of that story was the fact that Hold As on, you, sorry. sorry. And thank you to the people at Z Ramen for hey. all that you do for the community. Z Ramen, Z Ramen. Anyways, what I was trying to say Link was still thinks you're mad. That place sucked, bro. <laughs> 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 nah, just kidding. I liked, I liked my, my. I really enjoyed my. What did I get, Gabriel? <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed it so much you can't remember uh, what it was. Oh, the Japanese curry. Oh, the Japanese curry with udon. I got udon noodles. I love udon noodles. We'd love to hear from our fans. The two of us, the two of them that listen to us. Okay. You're just going to keep yeah. denigrating us on air constantly? Yeah. It's, okay. it's my mom that listens. Gabriel's mom. Your mom listens? My mom doesn't even know Well, she exists. does. She keeps asking me for the link. And she mom. keeps on asking me what it is. I'm like, ah, I can't explain this to does you. Does she keep asking you for the link and you just send pictures of Link? Should you do that? And then she calls him Link. Yeah. That's but why yeah. she doesn't get it. She keeps asking. She calls she him by his it. government name. All right. But yeah. You want to do our outro? Yeah, 2023 was a great year. We got great movies, great shows, great video games. What a time to be alive, right? You could have been born at any time in the world history, but you're born, you're alive in this time, 2023. You're born today, right? If you were born today, guess what? 
you got two thousand more than two thousand and twenty three years worth of content <laughs> to consume. <laughs> You also, <laughs> you also have almost 100 episodes of this show to catch yeah. up. Yeah, and that's the most important one. So if you haven't watched an episode or listen, now's the time to do it. Until then, see you in 2024 and keep on searching.